the uh, gems from getting that ball. Once they get it, they have to foul right away. They've got to foul right away. They pick up the steal. Downtown, Serrano, yes! Yes! With 1.9 seconds to go! Kasi ang motivation nila is ano eh, ma ma-achieve yung talaga makuha namin yung consistency. Then, gusto nilang magkaroon ng winning habit. So, hindi pa sila napapagod manalo. Malaking bagay yung uh, pagkawalan ni Maui sa amin. No? But, uh, we are trying to adjust uh, each and everyone, especially in offense and defense. Then, uh, for, kasi na, na, natanggap namin ang uh, verdict is uh, last Monday lang eh. So, masakit. Uh, Good afternoon, Pilipinas. Mula po sa City of Smiles, Baholod City. Ito po ang University of St. Lasalle. The atmosphere is electric. The tension is thick. The excitement is real. Crossover action dito po sa Baholod between the Manila Metro Stars and the Negro Slashers. Now, let's cut to the chase. Miko, Halili, Danny, Francisco, and Danny. A big loss for Negros. Maui Walaro will not be playing. Suspended po siya for this game. And uh, what a loss for uh, Coach Junoel. Definitely so, Miko. It's, uh, it's going to be a very big game considering that the Iloilo, or the Davao Eagles rather, won over the Laguna Lakers. Medyo excited po kami dito dahil nag-iintay, nag-aabang po yung mga tao. And they happen to watch the two overtime game of the Laguna Lakers against the Davao Eagles. Okay, marami ng kuro-kuro, maraming haka-haka dito sa suspension ni Maui Lar. Now, to put to rest all those issues, kinausap natin si Deputy Commissioner Ed Cordero at ito ang kanyang pahayag. Uh, we suspended Maui Willar for a rule in our NBA rule that states that even if a punch or an elbow is not detected by the officials during the game but is detected during the review of a tape, that player can still be sanctioned. So, ang simple ka ibig sabihin nito, kahit nakalusot sa paningin ng referee during the game, Pero pag tinignan mo naman sa tape at nakita mo yung ginawa, pwede mo pa rin habulin yung player para mabigyan ng kaukulang penalty o sanction. Ang pangalawang rason dito, o dapat nating maintindihan sa ruling na ito, bakit uh, dito siya nasuspend sa game na to? Kasi sinasabi sa ating uh, rules na pag dito mo ginawa sa game na ito, yung suspension mo kailangan ma-serve or kailangan mong uh, maipataw sa'yo dun sa susunod na game mo, which is uh, Manila. So, pangatlo na dapat maunawa ng ating uh, nanonood at mga fans dyan na itong rule na ito eh nagawa na namin, estimate siguro mga anim na beses na uh, mula nung nag-umpisa ang uh, NBA. So, there is nothing new at hindi totoo na this is unprecedented dahil anim na beses. Thank you very much, Deputy Commissioner Ed Cordero for clearing that up. It's so big because Negros minus Mario Willal will try to stop this 22-game winning streak of the Manila Metro Stars na nangunguna sa Northern Conference. That's true. And um, sinabi nga natin, ano, it, it's not unprecedented. And uh, it always happens. The games have been reviewed. Let's take a look at the Northern Conference team standings. Who is going to stop Manila? Only Negros and Iloilo stand in the Metro Stars' way from a 28-win regular season. Let's swing over to the South. Rumble, jumble, Danny. Oh, because of the Davao win, 19-9, and nine, they hold on to first place. They're showing a lot of character. Negros, Cebu, and Iloilo. Ang Negros, with this win today, they want to solidify that number two spot. They don't want to get into any quarterfinal round. Okay, let's quickly look at our NBA Budweiser buddies. Uh, sino ba yung ating mga bida dyan? Yes, Compton, Adukul, De La Rosa, and Perriol. Compton, of course, 32 points. Adukul, 28. For Negros, uh, De La Rosa, 30. Perriol, 26 during their uh, previous encounter. That's true. Adukul at saka itong si Compton, more than making up for about 60 of the 112 points coming from the Manila's, uh, Manila's output. And uh, malaking bagay itong laro ni De La Rosa ngayon at saka si Perriol. Although Compton and Adukul, you get the guard rotation as well as the center slot. Hindi katulad ni De La Rosa at saka ni John Perriol, so going to be coming in from the three and four spots. Okay, let's now go to Kerr Cruz and let's meet the starting lineups of the Negros Slasher. Van Grota and Cesar Bohan. Starting at 
set to start this game between Manila and Negros. Ang nakataya, 22-game winning streak ng Manila para sa Negros para mabuhayan sila dun sa paghahabol nila sa number one spot in the Southern Conference. Of course, all eyes on Dean Labayan, Dan. Malaking bagay ang gagawin ni, or gagampan ng role ito si Dean Labayan sa laro nito at makikita natin yung opening minutes how he will fare against Alex Thornton. Okay, oh, kita mo naman talaga gano'ng ka-intense. Kasama ka agad tayo sa action. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, I think that will be an omen of things to come. Huh? <laughs> Kanina, double overtime po tayo. If you just join us, Davao winning over Laguna, 113-106 in double overtime. And nagagad turn over. I, I cannot imagine the pressure on the shoulders of Dean Labayan this yes. afternoon. Not only that, you could see the pressure also on Janet Del Cardell early miscue for the Negro Slashes. That was a backing violation. Manila over the score. The first point of the ball game. Alex Compton, Robert Damate. Damate, back to Compton. Alam mo, Danny, there are games when you feel it. It's like game seven. This is one of those games. Alex, uh, Tell us about uh, the Negro Slashers. Yes, Nico. Malaking tiwala ngayon ni Coach uh, Juno Well para dito kay Dean Labayan. Siya nagahawak ng mga lahat ng mga responsibilities in the absence of Maui Willard. Well, yun nga lang. Sabi nga ni Coach uh, Juno Well, mukhang may hesitation itong tumira ito si Dean Labayan. All you have to do is uh, pasa na siya ng bola and let the shooters get ng an offensive uh, points para dito sa Negro Slashers. But uh, according to Dean Labayan, sabi niya, hindi naman siya natatakot na tumila. All you have to do, mahal na talaga niyang pumasa ng bola and he wants to give more assists para sa kanyang mga kasama dito sa game. Miko, Danny, back to you. Well, Alex, kung si Dean ay hesitant on offense, walang hesitation dito sa depensa. Isang dikit na dikit, super full sa field shot block. Pero para sa akin, ito si Dean Labayan, aside from orchestrating the place, Miko, kailangan rin niya. Kung may opening, he has to take that shot. Have a little confidence in his shot. Alex Compton will draw on the shot clock and he scores the first two points of the ball game. And then the last time these two teams met, Compton, of course, scoring 32 points. Let's get a quick update from Pia Gonzalez. Yes, Nico, the Manila Metro Stars, on the other hand, are coming off a very emotional win over the Cebu Gems. At inaasahan na marami na pagod sila. But I do not see a trace of fatigue in these boys. Uh, their spirits, in fact, are very high. They spend some time watching and watching again the highlights of their last game. And by this time, they say that they are used to playing on the road. And they believe that they know how to handle the crowd and stay in control. Nico, back to you. Thank you very much, uh, Pia. Yan po ang ating mga kasama ngayong hapon, Alex Santos and Pia Gonzalez. Nakasagot na po ang Negros, pair of Dorian Peña, kaya tabla tayo, 2-2. Here's the map, eh. Fade away, pump shot, it's short. Peter Martin. No, wala pa rin for Manila, the rebound by Dorian Peña. And there is a loose ball foul sa ingay ng tao dito sa Jam Pack, University of St. Lasal. Hindi na natin narinig yung pito ng referee. I was just about to say, na maaaring traveling violation ginawa ni Dorian Peña, but apparently there was a, a foul given up by Gilbert Demape. Only the first personal foul of Demape. First team foul for the Metro Stars. Here's De La Rosa, almost lost it. De La Rosa to Peña, off the ground. And Dorian is pumped up. He is pumped up. Walang kaduda-duda. All four points for the Negro Slashes coming from Dorian Peña. A baseline jumper in a one-on-one -on -one move against Romil Agupol. He will get the pass from De La Rosa and then ipit ng bahagya. And here's Peña using his body, protecting the basketball against Romel Agupol. And let's go back to lab action Peña for the three-point play. Peña scored all of Negros' points this afternoon. And he gives Negros a three-point lead at 5-2. to two. 10 and 12 to go in the first. A boy and a boy po tayo dito sa Baholod City. Romela Tuku against Cardiol. There's a double team. Ruben De La Rosa. Nothing but net for 15 feet. Ito ang Manila Metro Stars. Alam nila na magkakaroon ng double team dito kay Romela Tuku. So they have to swing it out. At nabili sa sumagot si Romy De La Rosa kapatid niya from 15 feet De La Rosa from 3 point country at itong dalawang magkakapatid nagbabantayan actually it's just a 2 pointer para kay Romy Negros up 7 to 4 Robert Demape to Compton for 3 rebound by Ferriol who's Dean Labay for 3 nevertheless Danny he cannot afford to hesitate. Yes. Basta tiro lang na tira. After all, he was 
he was uh, taken in because shooter shot. You know, for me, that was a good shot taken by Dean Labayan. But, you must remember, kailangan niya ikot yung bola. Hanapin yung opening. Yung libre shot. Pwede niya itura. Well, ito, libre libre siya for the layup. But there was a foul given up before the layup. Because, so kaya ata matatawagin ulit si Gilbert De Mape, fouling Johnny Del Cardell to stop the fast break of the slashers. There's the preemptive foul by Gilbert De Mape, nullified the layup by Dean Labayle. You'll have to bear with us, mga kaibigan, dahil talagang napakalakas po ng uh, ingay dito sa loob ng uh, University of St. Lasal. Pero yung ingay na yan, hindi siguro uh, yayanig. Ito po sa Manila na si Louis Alas, such a picture of poise and confidence. Why not? Is the 22 game winning streak simply unstoppable? By the way, referees for the game, Buenaventura, Britannico, and Pabres. It was a breakaway foul on Gilbert De Mappi from catching John Abel Cardell a NASA 15 foot line. He's shooting two, Mintis yung una. Just like what we expected, a fast game coming from both teams, Nico. Cardell gets a split and gives Negros a four-point lead, eight to four. Over nine minutes to go, here's Demape. You know, Demape had a shaky start in that game against Cebu. Pero down the stretch, he delivered. Dito, uh, without that Cebuano pressure, he should play his normal game. But he's playing with two fouls right now. Right there, inside of Pena against Adukun. This is becoming to be a marquee matchup. And Adukun will be called for the foul and uh, reacted emphatically after being called for the foul. Why is it not? Because that's going to be the second personal foul of Romel Adukun. And I don't think that Romel knows that Dorian Pena wants to win this game here in Negros. That's why he has been very aggressive to Pena already with a total of um, five points. He has scored five of Negros' eight points with this from the final free throw. Four free throw shooting mula kay Dorian. Kenya missing both. Ito si Gilbert Demape. Compton was wide open momentarily. He now has the basketball with 15 on the shot clock. Naharap ng papasahan. De La Rosa was asking for it. Adukul gets it. Near steal by Ferriol. Eight on the shot clock. De La Rosa with a rare three-pointer at kapos na kapos. At hindi square yung mga malalaki ng Manila Metro Stars to get the rebounds. Ito naman, very methodical. They want to go to the low post. Oh, Peña with a strong move. Dorian Peña now with seven points. How the Metro Stars respond? Negros among the apat. Another near steal. Very active hands mula rito sa Negro Slashers. You know, yung kanilang uh, pag-intay may have had a good effect. Gordon Pena, for example, coming out like a house on fire. Talagang ganadong-ganado. Ganadong-ganado. Strong move, ha? Hala, since that's in 45. Ang ginagawa ngayon, ni Dean Labayan is trying to cheat on defense. Every time Alex Compton will go to the weak side, inaabangan niya yung low post pass dito kay Romela Ducol, trying to swipe the ball away from Romela Ducol. So we'll see if that gamble will pay off in the long run because Alex Compton can square off for a possible three-pointer at any given time. Seven on the shot clock. Two-man game is spoiled. And that's a... When Louis Alas uh, grabbed the basketball, I don't know if he will be given a warning, no? Because, uh, for all intents and purposes, why pa yata yung bola? We'll see, no? We'll see. Ayun, actually. A penny was chased for the basketball. And Alas will be warned. Kaya-kaya pa kasi habulin yun. And you saw Dorian Pena getting to the picture. De La Rosa, oh, risky pass. Broken up by Peter Martin. Compton, shovel pass to the map. Back to Compton. At yan ang dahilan kung bakit napakabigat itong backcourt ng Manila. When the map and Compton begin to pass to each other, both deadly gunners, hindi mo na malaman sinong babantayan. Here's for you against Peter Martin. Another great matchup will happen. The block by Martin. But according to referee Buenaventura, there was a foul. We know Manila giving up a lot of fouls in the early goings of the first quarter. 
Hartman, the MBA under fashion. Hartman, the only undergarment made of 100% super cone cotton. You know, there are games where you, when you just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Yung mga laro naman, this can't help but sit at the edge of your seat. Ito na yun. Just like what they're doing. Oh nga, oh nga. De La Rosa over to Peña, who has been scoring well at the start of this ballgame. Jonathan Cardell for three! You know, that's big. Why? Because Dorian Peña can now recognize that if there is a double team which apparently ginagawa ng Manila Metro Stars, then Cardell can just easily look for his spot. Oh, nice pass. A double to Peter Martin. So, sa isang iglap, yung 8 point in ng Negros balik sa anin. Nice passing mula sa Manila. Here's Cardell. Will he try again? Over to Dean Labayan. He can definitely hit the three, but we'll give it to De La Rosa instead. Inside with the MV MVP, John Carriol. So, that patented turn around hook shot as we move over to Pia Gonzalez with this quick update from Manila. Nico, hindi naman ganun kalaki ang laban ng Negros Flashers, but I felt a lot of frustration in that last battle of the Manila Metro Stars. And uh, they feel that the ball is simply not going their way. This prompted Coach Jimmy Alas to say, na although manipid nga yan sa gawang tawag ng referees pa sa kanila, there's nothing they can do but keep on playing and try to stay in control. Napansin nila na ang double team kayo, ang ito dupo na yung nagagaling sa tao ni Peter Martin. And so let's watch as Peter will try to take advantage of this by being the cutter. Nico, back to you. Well, that's what Peter Martin has been doing all season long kung, kung kaya't umakit lahat ng numbers niya. Thank you very much, Pia. Compton, to Aduko. Six on the shot clock. And a jumper by Aduko climbs off the rim. We Rebound na kay De La Rosa. We don't normally see a Romelo Aduko popping those things. In the early goings of the game, he wants to establish his inside game first. Cardell for another three. It's a miss. Compton, scanning the floor. Compton down the middle. Out to Chuchu Serrano, who played such a big game, played the hero's role against the Bulls. Two-man game between Serrano and Martin. Wala. Then on the shot clock. De La Rosa fed away. Masarong malakas. But Adukul is there. 
a lucky man at the right place at the right time for the putback. Just a lucky break for the Manila Metro Stars. A still a six-point lead being enjoyed by the Negro Flashers. There's a full court press forcing John Ferreos to call a timeout. Yes, biglang nagulat ang opensa ng Negros. Lamang sila ng anim, 18 to 12. 30 second timeout para sa Slashers. And of course, itong 30 second timeout hatid sa atin ng Winston na mabibili nyo na in its new international pack. Uh, for the first time, pahinga natin ang tinig ni Negros head coach, Chuta Webb. Okay. It will be true! It will be true! It will be Para sa Hardy Flex, King of the Boards, Dorian Pena, and Romel Adufu. By the way, uh, we'd like to thank Nature Spring Mineral Water for providing mineral water for the NBA coverage team dito po sa top. We remind you, the team foul situation, Manila meron ng anim. Depensely na sa penalty na. Negros, isang foul pa lamang. Ito yung ang sinasabi ni Coach Louis Alas na manipis ang tawag, but I don't believe so. Dahil itong Manila Metro Star, nag nagulat rin sila doon sa atake ng Negros Lashes. That's why when they made the defensive adjustments, hinihipit na nila, nakikita talaga ng mga refers na yun kung ano yung mga tulak sa ilalim. 5-0-3 to go, Negros up by 6. Dean Labay, the man of the hour, with the absence of Maui Wala. Cartel for another three! It's short. Alex, medyo nagulat ba itong Negros dun sa full court press ng Manila? Yes, Nico, totoo yan. At uh, kanina nga, very precise yung instructions kanina ni Coach June Noel. And told ito mga Negros Lashers, big guys, na kailangan ni we will take full advantage of the inside play para sa ating opensa. Well, alam mo, he took the officials itong mga referees sa ating instructions kanina very seriously. Dahil alam niya, kahit na kauting ka lang, tatawakan ng paulito. Kaya ingat dito sila. Adukol, and also sa mga big guys sa Manila Metro Stars. Nico, Danny, back to you. Thank you very much, Alex. De La Rosa with a miss. Pena, 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 no! What action underneath we're seeing this afternoon. Inside Pasi De La Rosa, broken up by big brother Romy. And yung kabilis ang ating laro. The Manila Metro Stars would love to take advantage of situations like those where the slashes would miss their shots. Upon controlling the defensive rebound, in the direction of sila, led by Alex Compton, but Alex Compton is visibly Looking tired from our vantage point. Peter Martin is still tying up his shoelaces. Now he's ready. 13 on the shot clock para sa Manila. They're down by six. Here's Peter Martin. Fake, fake, fires, and got a foul. So, talagang ginagawa nila. Anong gusto ni Coach Louie Alas? Napagka may double team si Romelo Duco. Kailangan tumat towards the basket si Peter Martin. And Peter Martin going up high, getting a foul from De La Rosa. Unang foul ni Romy De La Rosa. Cardel Ufo, papalitan ni Carlos Sion Jr. Here's Peter Martin, who makes the first free throw in his third point of the ball game. It's really well. Sinabi nga niya sa ating primer, ano, malaking bagay, wala si Mawe. Pero wala na ito, wala na magagawa dyan, ano? What you want to see now is Dean Labayan and the rest of the Slashers step up this afternoon. I'm giving passive marks to Dean Labayan at this point. So far, so good. Oh, pinapakita niya that he can orchestrate the place. And nakakadakot sa Negro Slashers. May tira na sila sa labas. May inside game pa sila dito sa first quarter. Ayun yung inside game na sinasabi mo. Pero may miss si, si John Ferriol. Compton baseball pass to Aduku. Aduku? Broken up by Leo Batov. Here's Carlos Sion Jr. Well, yan naman ang papel ni Carlos Sion Jr. Jr. Ano? Pag yan, siya ay pinapasok. Yan yung trabaho to jack up the intensity. Bring the crowd into the game at paghuluhin yung opensa ng kalaban. Actually, it's those extra hands no, na ginagawa. They're raising their hands trying to block every passing um, lane na ginagawa ng itong dalawang kuponan. And on the shot clock, Carriol, hands in the air, pero minti. Leo Batog, the fearless one! No! Look at the Slashers fight for those rebounds. Actually, both teams very active on the boards. Ngayon, nagkakaturoan. Kanina ba talaga mapupunta ang bola? 
a damning loose ball and so coach Junoel asking now a long ball in the neck of Ashes but they give it to the Manila Metro Stars who are down by five with three and nine remaining here in the first quarter so far Madikit is in defense and he's looking at the ball to Compton Compton there with a miss but off over to Romy Romy against Ruben over to Carlos Sayo the block Masadong uh, nag-delay itong si Carlos Sain. Ito naman si Peter Martel on the other end. Scoring with the layup. At yung sinasabi natin, the bond the fast break of the Manila Metro Stars working for them. Negros lead have, down to three. Could have been a fast break by the Negros Lashers. Less than three minutes to go dito sa opening period. Romy De La Rosa attacks. Well, magamat nakakarami na ng shot clock itong Manila. Negros is not hesitating on attacking in the lane. So, Matala ito yung isang FedEx fast break. Peter Martin finishing the break. FedEx, we live to deliver. The foul was called on Ruben De La Rosa, his first. And Negros will call another timeout. We'll just take this short break. We'll be back with the final 2 minutes and 34 seconds of the first quarter. to you its own mobile battery ang bateryang pang matagalan mamaya po abangan nyo we'll be naming our Caltech star player of the game you know Danny these fans I'm very sure I'm very very sure they were secretly praying na matatalo ang Cebu against Manila ng Hercules para sila ang may pagkakataong alunin itong Manila Metro. Alam mo, ang nakakatawa dito, during our primary, pinakita natin the last 8 seconds of the game between the Manila Metro Stars and the Cebu Gems. And the crowd here, they were watching the ating white screen. Uh, wide screen of video. Well, nung nakita nila yung play na yun, kung saan nanalo ang Manila, eh talaga naghihawan pa sila. Eh, <laughs> kakalabali ng kapunan nila dito sa Manila, <laughs> itong Manila Metro Stars. This tells you how how excited this crowd is. And we're still in the regular season. Well, not but the playoffs. Compton, what a bounce pass to Chucho Serrano, but what a block. Wala kay Romy De La Rosa, pero they foul. You know, as I mentioned, we're still in the regular season. Crossover pa rin tayo. But what we saw last Wednesday and what we're seeing now, this is playoff basketball. When you see blocks like this one. Alam mo yung sinasabi nga natin, ano? Yung kabilisan ng ating laro, eh, talagang pinapanood ng mga tao. Eh, ngayon, itong si Chucho Serrano, the hero of the game against the Cebu Gems this last Wednesday. Sa free throw line ngayon, eh, binilisan na ni Coach Louis Alas yung guard rotation niya. Remember, he started with Compton and Gilbert De Mape. And feeling that De Mape was beginning to slow things down for the Manila Metro Stars. Kaya unahan sila ng Negros Lashes. He decided to put on, or to put in Chucho Serrano. Now, Chucho Serrano passed the test in Cebu. This afternoon, he will have to pass the test against his very rock, rock <laughs> very noisy Negros crowd. Again, there's that Manila press. Almost a success. Ball saved by Reno Hugnatan. Nice character para kay Reno. Here's the, here's the Peña. Back to Hugnatan, broken up by the Choo Choo Train, who gets to meet some fans. Siya malamoy kung bakit ito ang City of Smile. Mia Gonzalez, anong yung update mula sa Manila Bench? Nita, the Negro Slashers inside game is hurting the Manila Metro Stars a bit too much and so Coach Rui Alas wants out to gamble on double teaming Dorian Peña. The rest of the team will have to just quickly adjust to pick up the shooters. They're also going to relax a little on the full court press on Dean Labayan because they want uh, Labayan to receive the ball early para makasigit pa nila pressure and try to force a turnover from the young point guard. Nico? Pia? They cannot relax on Dorian Peña at this point. The foul was on Compton, his second. So far, si Dorian Peña, meron ng siyang na puntos. And he has a chance to complete a three-point play from the 15-foot line. What a mintis. Yan ang silbi ni Mr. Raymond Hugnatan. He may not give you the points, pero talagang iinisin niya hanggang mapurga itong mga taga Manila Metro Stars. Here's Peña again. Peña. Inside. Pabanda na naman. 
Well, I don't think nobody can stop Dorian Peña in the first quarter. And with what Pia Gonzalez has mentioned in her report, they're beginning to respect the inside game of Dorian Peña in the absence of the game of Romel Aducol for the Manila Metro Stars. And now Negros is now pressing, successful in that sequence, getting the turnover. Negros up by 7, 23-16. 1 and 33 po ang natitira dito sa first quarter. Dean Labayan, so far so good as the main man, the main point guard for Negros this afternoon. For three, in and out. Pero nandun talaga yung tira kasama ang Dali. Nandun talaga. The loose ball foul na itatawag sa isang Negros Lashers player. Nico, alam mo ba na si Alex Gonton ay kailangan manatili sa larong ito para kay Coach Louis Alas dahil wala na silang outside sniping. There is no form of an inside game coming from the Manila Metro Stars. There was a foul on Leo Batog. Ayun, the same first foul ni Mr. Batog. Fourth team foul para sa Negros. And over story, Manila 8, Negros 4. At saka yung field goal shooting ni Alex Gonton suffering here. Two out of five. Baka niya field goal. Dangerous pass kay Serrano. Leo Batog, time through! Negros now up by nine. And they're pressing once again. Serrano is out of control. Pero ayon kay referee Fabres, may foul. Laban dito kay Reynel Hulnatan. First foul on Hulnatan. Negros out the bounding. The Manila Metro starts of the offensive glass, 7-3. And ito yung mga workhorses ni Coach Junoel na nagtatrabaho sila, Leo Batog at saka si Reynel Hulnatan. They are complimenting itong laro ni Dorian Peña. At um, ito Manila Metro stars, kahit na gusto nila bilisan yung laro, Pagka makababa on defense ng Negros Lashes, they will still have to set up and they need Alex Compton to set things up. Team Serrano is responding to the challenge. He is a 62% free throw shooter. And this jam-packed St. LaSalle gym in his face. Ayun, limpis. Naapektuhan din. You know, I really wonder, Danny, no? Kung... Kasi alam na ng Manila ang crowd sa Pampang, ilang ilang crowd sa Laguna, ang crowd sa Davao, ang crowd sa Cebu. Yung crowd natin ngayong hapon, ba'y bang klase? Talagang punong-punong po tayo. Talaga, at saka yun ang sinabi ng ating colleague na si Senator Freddy Webb, no? Sinabi niya, it's the sixth man, and that is the crowd support. Yun ang sinabi niya ng laro, yung point of Manila Metro Stars in the Cebu Gems. And maaring yun rin ngayon, ang support ang sixth man, yung Negro Slashers, yung crowd support. Compton uh, getting a breather. Natala to si Dorian Peña scoring well so far. Peña now with 12 points to lead the Slashers. You know, this is a crucial stage. It's a nine-point lead by the, uh, by the Negro Slashers. Wala si Romela Dugol at saka si Peter Martin para sa Manila. Carano, Mintes, rebound the Jonathan Cardell. 40 seconds to go. Negros up by nine. Cardell, baseline drive, wala, rebound me, one to Maso. Maso, back along uh, the backboard, here's Compton. Quick pass to Fritchie Ang, and Fritchie Ang scores for down low. 19 seconds to go, they go up by seven. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Goes to Hugnatan. Hugnatan, bingo! Three seconds to go. Two seconds. At maubusan na ng oras itong Manila Metro Stars. Matatapos ko ang ating first quarter with Negros up 28-19. Alam mo, Danny, matamis. Matamis itong first quarter para sa Negros kasing tamis ng mga piyaya <laughs> ng Baholod. Namang sila ng siyam. Magbabalik po kami dito sa University of St. Lasal with second quarter action.
Kalawag ng 61 taon at limang henerasyon ang matuwasang na paglalakbay ninyo sa Maynila sa hirap at ginhawa, Carinius Transportation ang laging kasama. Carinius Transportation, official team carrier ng NBA at official carrier ng Miss Philippines and Tineal. Kaya't sa darating pang mga taon at henerasyon ang paglalakbay sa Maynila sa hirap man o sa ginhawa, tuloy-tuloy na lagi ninyong kasama. Carinius Transportation. New Nestle in cans. Ride the new wave of total refreshment. Because iced tea is nasty. Nasty. Take the plunge. The world's largest city is experienced at her very heart. The Royal Mandaya Hotel. Where you experience warm smiles, warm hospitality in such an enchanting place. We do want to guest rooms and suites that offer a breathtaking view of majestic Mount Apple and the Davo Gulf. The Royal Mandaya Hotel. Agua Vida. Pure drinking water. Available nationwide. Winston, now in a new international pack. Hartman, the MBA under fashion. Hartman, the only undergarment made of 100% super comb cotton. Of course, uh, these two teams met earlier during the season. At uh, Nanalo Pujan, our uh, Manila 112-105 win for some male and more sports arena. Let's get this quick update. Wala po kay Ginoong Alex Santos. Yes, Miko, makikita mo talaga dito sa mga mata ng mga Negro Slashers players. Well, gusto talaga nilang manalo yung sense of urgency na kailangan nila every point sa kailangan counted dito talaga. At uh, lighter side dito sa Negro Slashers na napapansin ninyo, you might wonder, but hindi na nila suot yung lambada shirts ng mga coaching staff? <laughs> well, sabi nga ni Coach Junoel, itong blue shirt niya ngayon, itong polo shirt na sinusuot niya ngayon, ito yung kanyang swerte talaga. Never nakatanggap siya ito ng talo. At itong nakikita nyo, assistant coach niya si Rolly Buenaflor, birthday niya yung September 9th, and also kasabay niya si John Tadios, sinutri niya itong shirt niya ito dahil napakaswerte nito at parang ito para kay Maui Willard. Dito, Danny, back to you. Okay, nabanggit ni kasamang Alex si Maui Willard. This mammoth crowd is missing the flying fish. Willard, of course, suspended the race for this game with that elbow incident against Chris Corbin at the Batangas. Late. You know, Mito, I'd like to take this opportunity also. He's going to have three games kasi nasabi ko yung Ilo Mega Vaults. The Ilo Ilo Mega Vaults have five games remaining and um, we have to give them a lot of attention because should Negros win this game and Cebu will try to win the remaining games, it will still be Negros because of the better tiebreak system. But if Iloilo will win the remaining games, eh, maaaring makahabol pa ang Iloilo. No? But um, you must also note that ang Iloilo Mega Votes, they are the division champions in the, in the Division 3. Felix Galano, 31 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists. Ibang klase talaga itong si Quick Cut as Davao defeated Laguna in double overtime, 113-106. Kaya talagang rumble-jumble talaga tayo sa Southern Conference standings. <laughs> That's true. At sinabi nga natin, pahigpit na pahigpit yung laban. And to think that these teams, they're talking about Cebu, Negros, Davao, they only have two games remaining. Well, Cebu has three games remaining. And ang Ilo-Ilo lang has five games left in the regular season. Pero tayong confusion kung kanino ba talaga yung possession, no? Uh, dapat, Negros. Okay. Well, it's gonna go to the Manila Metro Stars. Okay, it's it, dapat yeah. talaga Manila. Okay, uh, okay. Now we're starting the second uh, quarter with Negros up by 9, 28-19. Ulitin ko po yan. Negros up by 9, 28-19 over the Manila Metro Stars. And the Manila Metro Stars still playing the second quarter without Peter Martin and their starters, Adupol and Alex Compton. So this might be the time ng Negro Slashers and maaari pumiglas dito sa 9-point lead that they are enjoying. Oh, hindi pa nakakatikip ng double-digit lead itong Negros. And when you're playing Manila, anytime you can get a double-digit lead, well, grab the opportunity because you are going to need it. Here's John Perriols, one-on-one -on -one against Camaso. In a sense, this match, you know, Perriot lost the defense of Camaso, tapos found the map, eh. Pero nabitawan niya. Pia, hindi ka namin bibitawan. Bigay mo sa amin yung update mo mula sa Manila, Ben. Nico, parang napapansin nga natin, medyo may tulang sa loob ng Manila Metro Stars kayo. At ayun ay ang sense of urgency o ang puso. Coach Louie Alas feels that his boys are simply not aggressive enough and that they are simply going through the motions of playing this game. Parang takot silang lumaban. Sabi rin nga, ang lakas-lakas na ng crowd, hindi pa sila nagpupusap-pusap. So, tingnan natin ngayon kung makakapag-adjust sila. Nico? You know, as you were giving us that report, Pia, I was looking at Louis Alas. At talagang binuran niya yung mukha niya, no? Sa, sa Enes, no? Dahil uh, 
Itong si Longa nung kumiri the second foul against John Torres. And I don't know, are we seeing signs of Rui Alas finally, uh, you know, in a sense, breaking down? Because sanay na sanay tayo. No? Orton, Rui Alas, Kalupo, very stoic, no? Ice, ice, ice cool. Uh, ice cool. Ice cool that uh, parang hindi na yayanig na sa pressure. Alam mo, marami nga nagsasabi na Manila Metro Stars might be due for a loss. Because in their previous games, including, including yung Cebu game, no? Even Halo si Kalyente Oro. O, oh, pumapalya-palya sila. So they might be due for a loss. Pero naman, para kay Coach Luis Alas, hindi. Magand okay naman yung mga players nila. They are seasoned veterans also. So they know the system. Tumape, Babo Galeno. Tumape. Trixia. Trixia. Uh, Dupo, who barreled through Peña, who is called with a block. Now we'll have to see that again. Here's Ang to Adukul. Here's Peña. Still moving. Still moving. That was a good call. And Peña for doing that will be warned for overt resentment. 11.02 to go dito sa so first half. Negro still up by nine. Hindi pa gumagalaw yung ating talaan. At ang bola na kay Serrano. Over to Bon Camaso. Bon Camaso going one-on-one -on -one against Peña. Camaso back to Serrano. 15 on the shot clock. Serrano. Ah, atake! Yes! And Juju Serrano might be the key for the Manila Metro Stars in this second quarter. In the absence naman of Alex Compton. Compton is on the bench. I wonder if there's anything wrong with Compton. Wala naman daw, sabi ni Pia. Let's get back to this game. 10 and 36 to go. Bravo. Now playing point. Mahirap tong matchup na to para kay Chuchu Go having to go up against a great scorer like John John Cartel. He's giving up a few inches against Jonathan Cartel. And Jonathan Cartel can easily drive. Pero he is a stubborn defender also. Ito si Chuchu Serrano. Although the height advantage might tell the difference. Second foul on uh, Serrano. Second team foul para sa Manila. Mysterio. Body to body against Camaso, almost went in. Demape stepping on a gas, na hanap ka agad si Frit Chiang for the layup. Lead of Negros down to five. You know, first quarter numbers, Manila hitting 42%, Negros not far behind at 40%. Pero ang dito nakakapagtaka yung offensive rebounding ng Negros, they had seven as against only three for the Manila Metro Stars, and the Negros class is going to the free throw line more often. You know, they are really going to Cardell against Serrano, pero minti si Cardell, banggaan sa ilalim, natatawagan si Mr. John Terrios. So that's just going to be the first personal foul of John Terrios. Nice pass, Demape over to Fritchie Ang para sa isang FedEx fast break. FedEx, we live to deliver. You know, one more big stat numbers during the... Um, First quarter is that the nine turnovers of the Manila Metro Stars really hurt them because this has been converted into seven turnover points by the Slashers. Weber Demape stopped by Jonathan Cardell, held on to the arm of Gilbert Demape. First ball on Jonathan. Demape with that shifty move, so si Cardell, wala nang magawa. Tinabol ng kamay, tinawaga ng foul. Let's go back to live action. Ang bola na kay Chichi Serrano. Asking for a clear out against Bravo. Ang pakaranta ni Serrano mas mabilis siya. At kita-kita natin, talaga mas mabilis siya. Dinadaan na nga ni Chuchu Serrano sa bilis. Itong um, defense ni Erwin Bravo. So some adjustments must be made because it's only a three-point lead now by the Negro Slashers. Mga kaibigan, hindi pa nakakapuntos itong Negro dito sa second quarter. Pero trying to change that. May sundot si Camaso. And Tamaso will be called for his first personal foul. And that will be Manila's third team foul. Ito yung bilis. Chuchu Serrano. Kaya naman siya tinawag na Chuchu. Strong move. Atin sa atin ang 45. 9 and 13 to go. Dahan-dahan ang nawawala itong lamang ng Negros. 28-25. The Negros must find the way inside the basket. And Dorian Ben has been... Silent so far after scoring 12 points, he hasn't scored here in the second quarter. And he's going to be beginning low post pass. No one has scored for Negros in the second quarter. Here's Benya travel. Mangat. Mangat yung Annie Benya. Well, he has to settle down. It was a Dorian Benya. Watch the feet. Watch the feet. He will curl. Yo. Mangat yung pivot. 
Maganda yung ginagawa niya ng first quarter ni Nico, nung wherein pagka may double team, hindi niya pinipilit. Hinahanap niya yung mga tirang na sa labas, yung dalawa sa Nico Del. Alam niyo, danger sign para sa Negros. Wala pa silang puntos. Itong Manila, 8-0 run. Kung kaya isa na lang ang lamang ng Negros Nationals, 28-27. Tatawag ng timeout. Negros, meron tayong uh, break. We'll be back yeah, after this important message. Find out if Motolite can withstand excessive vibration, we'll test it with a jackhammer. Galit yan! Yun! Sa kong arong kita! Menche Martipat, Riga Put! It's designed for the worst world condition. Start! Mating ding torso ito! Ander pa kaya yan? Man, see! Kaya pa rin important yan? Iba sa ayant! Kumbinting daw! Motolite battery, ang matagal! There's seven guys. Somebody's got to sit down. Yeah, spin the bottle. Who's your six? You sit first. You can come in when all those get tired. But I can dump from the free throw line. Yeah, whatever. But when can I come in? Well, one of us gets tired. Anybody tired yet? You drink Gatorade? You cool down? You keep playing. But when am I going to play? Got it? Good. I'm not going to get in, am I? I'm afraid not. <laughs> <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts Kuel Umbrella para sa kahit anong eksena. Kapag mainit ang panahon. O kaya umukuray. Add 78 pesos when you buy a dozen Dunkin' Donuts and regular Coca-Cola and get your own Kuel Umbrella. Magpakwela na. Bili ako maraming Kuel Umbrella. The new Hotel Maguindanao for complete comfort without compromising value with rooms to suit every kind of budget plus the most exciting ballroom club in town. You are sure to find your place of rest or recreation in this exotic metropolis. Experience hospitality like nowhere else, standing true to the real Dabawenian spirit. Hannock's Jeans. Hannock's Jeans, a legend on its own. Motolite battery, ang bateryang ang matagalan. Alam niyo, matapos mamuhunan ng siyam na puntos sa kalamangan itong Negros, hindi pa sila nakakapuntos dito sa second quarter. Over two minutes have gone by, wala pa silang puntos on the scoreboard. Cardell, what a move from the wild thing, breaks the scoring slump for Negros. You know, they needed a timeout to be able to map things out for their offense. Nawawala sila sa offense nila, parang nanggigigil sila. Tama yung ginawa nila nung first quarter, pero dito sa second quarter, nag-settle down na rin yung offense ng Manila Metro Stars. Serrano, mag-uvol, back to Serrano, wala tipin ni Don Camaso. Negros uh, lead back to 1, 30-29. 8-4 remaining dito po sa first half. Erwin Pramo in the absence of Galar has to play point one. Loses the ball and another fast break para sa Manila. Lefty ni Serrano. But Richie out with an excellent trail job. Ayun ang sinasabi natin because ang Manila Metro Stars now have taken the lead 31 to 30 and lahat ito nang gagaling sa fast break. So sinabi nga natin, Chucho Serrano might be the king. Siya yung gube break away for a possible fast break for Manila. Here's Carriol. He is fouled. Also Danny. Now, without Maui Wilar, you have Cardell and Pramo in the backcourt, who are not natural point guards. At wala sa kanilang, uh, kumbaga eh, frame of mind na bumaba hagad sa defensa as safety. Nice DHL uh, assist. DHL every second count. Kita natin kanina lamang. Alam mo bakit naging highly successful kasi ginagawa ng Negro Slashers. Yung mga tira nila mula sa labas ng first quarter, si Cardell, si De La Rosa, at saka yung inside game ni Dorian Peña. Now, the outside game, or the outside sniping of the Negro Slashers are beginning to suffer. Wala silang mga tira sa labas. They'd like to take it inside. It's talagang traffic din sa ilalim. It was a good thing. John Perios got a foul from Don Camasco. But in any event na masyado silang lumalalim trying to go for that inside game, they are exposing themselves to the fast break game of the Manila Metro Stars. Because once Manila can control the defensive boards, talagang tumatabo na agad sila Chucho Serrano, bahala na eh. So, they're just going to ask for an overhead lob pass. So, ito yung kailang pigilan ng Negros. I think that's the reason why binilikta itong si uh, Dean Labayan. Labayan, two points, one assist so far. Dorian Peña na kong una sa ating Hardy Flex team on the board. Here's Agupo, strong move, dinangga si Peña. At tatabo ang Negros, three on two. Perios, over to Labayan. Yes! Yeah! 
Alex Santos, mabilis na ulat mula sa Negros Ben. Yes, alam mo, Miko, mukhang uh, focus na sila sa isang option sa kanilang opensa. Ito yung a take advantage yung poste. Ito sila Peña and also si John Carriol. Pero napapansin na ito na Manila Metro Stars sa pinabantayan na maigi itong dalawa. Ngayon, with a comeback of Dean Labayan dito sa larong nito, mukhang may chance itong si uh, John Cardell para tumira sa labas at makakuha sila sa outside shot sila para makalamang dito sa laban nito. Miko Dani, back to you. Tama yung sinabi mo, Alex. At um, kapansin-pansin nga talaga na si Dean Labayan might be able to stabilize the game of the Negro Slashers. Basang-basa na ng Manila Metro Stars yung inside game ng Negro. At um, did you know that Manila managed to get back into this game without Alex Compton starting the second quarter? And now Compton is back on the floor. The illegal defense na nakita si uh, referee Fabres against uh, Romy De La Rosa. Ngayon ang nag-hesitate ngayon sa depensa, ang Negro Slashes, they don't know when to double on Romela Dupol. So you've got to commit. Commit on the double team. Pero nag-aalala sila, baka malibre sila Peter Martin cutting towards the basket. 6 and 48 po ang natitira dito sa first half. At Dupol, double team. Compton outside. Compton from 16. You know, Compton is hobbling. Compton is hobbling. We'll check out his condition later. Here's Dean Labayan. Labayan has four points. Labayan off the glass! Six points now for Dean Labayan. He has to step up in light of Maui Millar's suspension. Here's Compton. Out to Adukul from 18. Adukul nilapit. Baby hook went in. Adukul now with four points. Mabilis talaga ang pace ng ating ball game. Palitan kagad ng possession. Four, ng punto. four points only for Romero Laduco. Uh, considering that he's one of our premier centers. So talagang pinapahirapan siya ng depensa ng Negros. Pero yun, ito ka ba't sama na pinapahirapan? Alam mo, hindi ako naingit dito kay John Carriol. He has to face either Laduco or Peter Martin down low. Samantala, ito ang isang FedEx fast break. FedEx, we live to deliver. Miss by Serrano. Rich Yang was there. FedEx fast breaks like that one allowed Manila to get back in this game. That's true, and um, they're just down by three points at the moment. And Alex Compton, just right in front of us, I'd like to talk about his offensive game because he's two out of six from the field. So that's only about 33%. He was hobbling earlier, and uh, he looks okay now. It's Louis Alas. His team going for 23 consecutive wins. But John Ferriol and the Slashers have other things in mind. Sa kasalukuyan, si John Ferriol, meron ng anim na puntos. Four rebounds as well. Unbelievable energy dito sa University of St. LaSalle considering wala, that, uh, wala pa tayo sa playoffs, mga kaibigan. John Ferriol... One out of two. Metro Stars setting things down. Working on the shot clock there, down by four. Adoku, cross-court pass to De La Rosa. They swing it over to Demape. Strong side, weak side, Demape down the middle. Wala, Adoku, good back. Tia Gonzalez, uh, your report from the Manila bench. Yes, Nico. Sinabi nyo kanina yung problema ni Alex Compton. Medyo yung kanilang kanyang, uh, kaliwang tuhod. Eh, medyo sumasakit yung hit. Yung tendinitis niya. Eh, nag-act up simula nung game nila against sa Gayan de Oro. Pero so far, it's not so bad. He may try to play with his body. Nico, you know, back to you. Well, as Compton is hobbling, Labayan playing well so far. Great assist over to the open, Romy De La Rosa. And he's challenging the defense of thrown at him by Alex Compton. At kung makita niya, naipit sa ilalim, nakikita niya, may good vision siya. Makita ang mga kakampi niya. Great rejection against Romelu Dupol. That was a triple team on Romelu Dupol. Help defense mula kay Leo Batog. Yung dikit na dikit. Super James kasi yung shot block. Let's go back to live action. Here's Compton. Quick trigger. There will be a foul on Leo Bato. Si Leo, kakaroon ng pangalawang personal foul. That will be the 15th foul of Negros. And ang tina, ang Negros Slashers, Alex Compton will shoot to the line. Oh, 
Once the Alex Compton, uh, only one adjective can describe him from the free throw line, automatic. Asa pang una, actually medyo bumaba pa nga itong uh, figures ni Alex Compton from the line. He used to be a 90% free throw shooting and 88 na lamang. Pero actually, taas nun, taas nun, taas nun, taas nun. The six point of um, Alex Compton. And ito si Alex also should respect ito si Dean Labayan because athletically it looks like um, ito si Dean Labayan. Lamang sa Lamang. muscles. <laughs> Here's Carrioles. Carrioles offline. Peter Martin nakakarami na sa rebounds. Meron na siyang anim. Actually, pito para kay Peter Martin. Here's Demape. Over to Adukul. Adukul really... Having a tough afternoon against the defense of Negros. Martin with a cut. Difficult shot. Wala. Rebound to Riol. He got intimidated by the presence of De La Rosa, but that was the play that gusto ni Coach Louis Alas na mangyari. Ito, Kileo Batog. Walang takot. Pero walang pinuntahan yung kanyang tira. Here's Compton burning rubber. Pero Mintes. Oh, bad pass by Romy De La Rosa. Into the waiting hands of Demape. Spins. And he is called for traveling. Sayang na sayang yun. 4 and 2 break for the Manila Metro Stars coming off a steal on a bad pass by De La Rosa. Our messy refreshing face of the day is Myla Roman. Hi, Myla. Danny? Myla, Myla, Danny. Hello. Watch out for Ira Panganiman, our <laughs> NBA Nesky Splashman. Mag-iikot at mamimigay ng big prizes ngayon dito sa Bacolod City. Makikita natin mamaya si Ira Panganiman in action as the Splashman. Apa. Cardell in action. Stop the bucket plus the foul. Si Cardell Cardell meron ng 8 points. And yes, we're not worthy. Oo, kasi naman ito si Wiles. Kaya kakaiba talaga yung ginawa. You know, the once formidable wall in the earth. Wall, that is, for the Manila Metro Stars. Talagang naka-challenge dito sa mga drive nila Cardell. At itong si Cardell, impossible three. Third point play, yes. 9 points para kay Jonathan Cardell. Anim ang lamang ng Negros. 43-37. 3 and 56 to go in the first half. Adukul asking for the ball. Binabantayan siya ni Batol. Expect the ball to go to Adukul. And then expect the double team by Peña. Expect the cut by Peter Martin. And as expected, nice play from Manila. Oh, simple, simple lang ginagawa ng Manila Metro Stars. And Peter Martin is ready to take any pass coming from Romel Adukul. So it's just a defensive rotation na kailangan gawin ng Manila Metro Stars. Naiiwan sila Bayan kay Peter Martin. That's a mismatch. You know, this Dorian Peña is really having a nightmare deep as the second quarter. After scoring 12 points in the first quarter, Peña, wala pa pong puntos dito sa second period. The foul was on Romel Adukol, his third. Although si Adukol nakakuha ng isang dikit na dikit, super full kasi yung shot block. Let's go back to live action, third foul on Adukol. And that's um, the reason why itong si Coach Luis Alas, quick. To tap Don Tomasi to come in for Romela Dupul, who is now going to sit down on the bench with three personal fouls. You know, we have to take notice, Nico, of the fact that Alex Compton continues. Ito ang ginagawa ng, um, ginagawa ng, um, it's a major concern for me, itong ginagawa ng Manila. Manila, itong binibigyan talaga ng hangin ito si Alex Gonton. Hindi lang yun. Talagang tinutuyo ang pawis ni Alex Gonton. You know, you're, you are coming from a player's point of view. And as players know, alam na alam mo, pag yung kapwa malalaro mo, parang may iniinda. Uh, or may tinatapong sakit. I will try our best to find out if there is indeed something wrong with Alex Gonton. Either yung tuhod niya, maybe galing sa sakit. We don't know. We try to find that out. As uh, Peter Martin scores from the free throw line, pasok yung una. Dahil uh, 16 fouls na itong uh, Negros. Of the foul, of the third foul of Leo Batog. And Batog will sit down. De La Rosa with a successful tap. Uh, Negros, uh, inaalagaan yung kanilang uh, three-point lead, 43-40, with 3.16 to go dito po sa first half. Peña settling for the jump shot, uh, not exactly the shot you want from Mr. Peña. That's true, that forced Dean Labayan to challenge Peter Martin for a possible offensive recovery, pero ang bola pupunta dito sa Manila Metro Stars. 
We've only had two deadlocks. Uh, so far, Negros has dominated in the sense that they have been enjoying the lead for quite some time now. Compton with a long three. Martin with another rebound. Here's Camacho. There's something unnatural about the offensive flow of Manila. I'll ask you about that later on as we watch this offensive uh, sequence by Negros. 2.40 to go in the first half. Cardell setting up Kenya. Kenya, the curl. Blocked by Camacho, but there's a foul. Well, magandang din nagawa nito ang Negros Lashes dahil nabubuhay sila din sa ilalim. That's gonna be number three against Don Camacho. And this will send Dorian Peña for two free throws. So, just a simple game plan of looking at the low post. Kasi wala nga si Romela Dukol. Kaya sinabi siguro yung Coach Junoel. Eh, Dorian, kailangan ka magtrabaho doon sa ilalim. At kailangan natin mag-break. Meron tayong timeout. The classic taste of Nescafe, the rich creaminess of coffee mate and sugar. All the goodness in one easy to prepare Nescafe 3 in 1. And right after this contest, uh, we will be choosing our Caltech star player of the game. I can see Mawe Wilal. Uh, right behind Alex Santos. At kinano ko siya kanina. Ano ba pakiramdaman di ka maglalaro? Wala siyang binigay, binitiwang salita. Ganito lang, umuwi, ganito. The faint expression na hindi mo nakalaan ng salita para malaman na he is dying to play in this game. This big game against Manila, who, which is on a 22-game winning streak. Well, after seeing your expression, Miko, <laughs> I know what uh, dying to play the game is. <laughs> <laughs> My best ano, effort sa, para pakit sa ano ang niwi. Well, hindi ka lang umuwi ni Dorian Peña. Pasok yung kanyang free throw. 14 points para kay Peña. Balik sa lima ang kalamangan ng Negros Flashers. You know, see how the game of the Manila Metro starts change. Pagkalabas ni Chuchu Sirano at saka ni Romela Ducol, nag-iba kagad. Kasi kailangan nila ma-distribute yung scoring options nila. So, Kamaso skying from the baseline pero wala. Peña battling for the rebound. Flips it over to Cartel. Over to Cario. Cario stops, fakes, fires, and it goes. John Cario now with eight points. Kito na naman ang lamang ng Negros. 47-40. Two minutes to go in the half. Compton for three. Rebound to De La Rosa. Zero out of four from the three-point range to Alex Compton. And he's only hitting two out of eight for 25% from the field. Very unusual for Alex Compton. The foul is on Jaribel Cardell. Let me grab this opportunity to thank Kemas Pension House and of course, Baholod Executive in. Yan po ang aming tirahan dito sa South. Especially dito sa Baholod City para sa MGA. Because Walaro was suspended for one game for elbowing Chris Corbin in their last game against Batangas. Unfortunately for Negros, ito yung susunod na laro. And the suspension applies for the following game. But so, fortunately naman for Negros at this point with a minute and 45, they're holding on to a seven-point lead. And Manila is not shooting well, but they leave the map wide open and they don't pay for it. They can allow. Here's Peña over to De La Rosa. De La Rosa, layup is good. Eight points for Romy De La Rosa. And the lead is back to a nine-point edge for Negros, tying their biggest lead of the game. You know, this the concern of Coach Luis Alas. Kailan ko babalik si Chucho Serrano? Martin is foiled. Peña na naman, may rebound. Peña now with ten rebounds. Si Chano Cardell, mata sa mata laban kay Demape. Cardell setting up Peña. This two-man game. Cardell, he can take it on his own, but it's way short. And Cardell claiming that he was clipped on the arm. It looks like a uh, beta tag laban kay Cardell. As we look at this FedEx fast break, FedEx, we live to deliver. Romy de la Rosa hanging in the air to score his eighth point of the ball game. Let's go back to our action. Fifty-nine point nine six remaining deep up as the first half. The deck was up by nine, 49-40. Made 30 second timeout. Ang Manila, na hatid sa atin ng Winston, now in a new international pass. Oh, no. 
uh, halftime, abangan nyo po si Nesty Splashman ang mamibigay ng pera dito sa Baholod City. Of course, ang ating uh, Adidas halftime action highlights courtesy of Danny Francisco. Mamaya po yan sa halftime, which is 59.9 picks away. Compton has the ball who, as Danny mentioned, has not been shooting well. Compton. Binigay kay De La Rosa with 11 on the shot clock. Nothing but net para kay Ruben. Four points. Seven point lead para sa Negros. Cartel to Pena. Pena. Nice double team by Compton. But the ball will stay with the Negros side. 13 seconds on the shot clock of the Negros Slashers. 34.2 left here in the second quarter. And Negros getting away towards the last few minutes of the second quarter. 30 seconds to go in the half. A ball out of John Perio. Perio turn around. In and out. Oh, the putback by Dean Labayan. Manila has now been scoring this for three minutes. I'm going to see Dean Labayan. Meron ng eight points. He is stepping up this afternoon. Actually, gabi na po. Tapos alas ay sila dito sa Bacolod. Good evening, Philippines. This is the crossover game between Negros and Manila. Five seconds to go in the half. Kicking violation. Only 4.5 seconds remaining. Negros up by nine. Manila will have the last say of the first half. Let's they see like, how they will execute. They would like to score here in the last 4.5 seconds. Sarano, Abaso, Abaso fires. It's short. Oh, maganda na linya ng tira ni Cardel. Siya po nagtatapos ang first 24 minutes of action. Mula rin sa University of St. Lazar. Negros up by 9, 51, 42. At uh, kailangan maging kasimsaga sila ng mga gumagawa ng barkilyos dito sa Baholod. Kung gusto nilang mapanatili ang kalamangan na yan. Nesty Splashman, halftime rally. It's all coming up dito po sa NBA Live from Baholod. We'll be back. Dunkin' Donuts Quell Umbrella Para sa kahit anong panahon Handful, Boys R Us, Journey and Hartman present Millennium Bang! Bigay to ng ngayong siglo Rebel promo You can win house and lot, living room Ang kay Villamonte, dito po nagpunta ang Splashman ngayon Para sa ating Nest is Splash Dito sa NBA Games, maghahanap tayo ngayon ng kapitbahay natin na nanunod ng NBA Games ngayon at may Nesty Splash. Kakatok ako ngayon, ha? <laughs> Ito tayo. Ayun! Ako, nagbukas ka agad ng, ng, ano pong pangalan nila? Rita po. Rita? Calderon. Nanunod po kayo ng NBA? Opo. Sige nga, tignan natin. Liga, pasok tayo. Pasok tayo, Splashman friend. Uy, nanunod nga sila ng, nanunod nga sila ng NBA. Kitang-kita natin sa TV. May susunod ako itatanong sa inyo. Meron ba kayong Nesty? Opo. Ha? Meron po. Patingin nga ako ng Nesty ninyo. Asan ba yung Nesty ninyo? Haba? Meron silang Nesty. Akin na yung 1,000. 1,000 pesos kagal man ng Rita. Okay. May isa pa akong tinatanong. Kung sigurado kayong nanonood kayo ng NBA, sino maglalaro ngayon dito sa Bacolod? Ano po, Negros Lazer at, at saka, saka Manila po. Ayun, ako! Isa pang 1,000! 1,000 ulit! May 1,000 ulit! Ang kali-kali. Manang Rita, magiging 3,000 yan mapapanaluna ninyo pag nasagot nyo to. Ano yung apat na flavors ng Nesty? Limon, tropical, at saka peach, at saka orange po. Nako! Alam na alam ni Manang! 1, 2, 3,000 pesos! Nanalo si Manang ng 3,000 pesos. Manang, ano sasabihin natin? Papasalamat po kami sa Nasty. Maraming salamat po sa Nasty. At... Okay, thank you very much. Mga kababayan, meron na namang nanalo ng 3,000 pesos galing sa Nasty. Bukas, andun po kami sa Antique, sa Iloilo. Mga kababayan ko dyan sa Antique, bantayan nyo kami dyan. Dahil dadating ang Nasty, kayo malamang ang mananalo ng 3,000 pesos. So take the Nasty Plunge with NBA Games today! Bye! Well, uh, you know, nung nalaman kong tayo pupuntang Bacolod, I thought you were having, you were going to have a relaxing trip. And nung nakita ko si Yara <laughs> Panganibang sa aeroplano, sabi ko, tatasar man yung blood pressure natin. Pero of course, as Nasty Splashman, nagbibigay sa'yo itong ating kasamang si Ira. Oh, that's true. At saka kung nakakataas ng um, blood pressure, eh, sinabi mo nga, itong larong ito. Grabe ang nangyari dun sa first half, Miko. Okay, malalaman nyo lahat yan dito sa ating Adidas Halftime Action.
This portion is brought to you by Adidas. Forever Sport. Now, Danny, Negros is holding on to a nine-point lead. Na medyo kagulat-gulat yan para sa mga ibang kaibigan natin dyan. Bakit nila na tuhunan yan? Well, in uh, muhunan nito ang Negros Lashers, una-una dahil sa kanilang um, turnovers. They have um, limited their turnovers to only eight turnovers as compared to the 12 turnovers of the Manila Metro Stars. Hindi lang yun. Yung inside game nila, yung inside presence nila, Dorian Pena, nila John Ferriol, gumagana. Hindi lang yun. Yung outside shooting nila, gumagana rin. Yung outside shooting ng Manila Metro Stars, they are suffering. They have been forcing to go to Romela Ducol, and Romela has really been playing well at the post, and this has forced Romel to give up, give up that ball, and that's the reason why itong Negros was quick to take advantage of certain situations like that, and the, the balance of the inside and outside game for the Negros slashers working to a tee, unlike the game of the Manila Metro Stars. That was Danny's prognosis of the first half in words. Tignan natin yung mga piniling highlights ni Mr. Francisco. Fast and furious, Miko, ang ating naging... Um, first half dito sa Negros when, um, of course, Bacolod, uh, Negros hosting the Manila Metro Stars. Umpisa ng Manila Metro Stars yan, si Alex Compton maghahanap ng drive. Hirap na hirap siya sa drive niya. Only six points so far for Alex Compton. 25% shooting from the outside. Baseline jumper by, by Dorian Peña and looks like Negros was also a very good start that Peña could easily Take this hook shot over Romela Ducol. Ducol nursing three fouls and Peña having 12 points in the first quarter. Itong si De La Rosa tumira ng three-point shot. De Mappi sasagutin niyang version niya ng three-point shot. Pero naman, itong steal na makukuha ni De Mappi, ibabalik niya kay Alex Compton for that um, gimme basket. Martin will go for a fast break here. Not before Cardell took the three-point shot. Ito yung finger roll ni Peter Martin on a fast break. Peña will get an offensive rebound and a putback. And this typified the aggressiveness of the Negro Slashers. He got a foul here. He failed to complete the three-point play, but it's enough to show that they're off to a very good start. Even Leo Batog will get this layup. The first quarter ending with Negros on top by nine points. Come the second quarter, Chuchu Serrano was inserted in the position for the Manila Metro Stars. Ito ito magagawa niya. With time down on the shot clock, nothing else to do but to drive a pass to Fred Chiang, the fast break game of the Manila Metro Stars working at the start of the second quarter. Serrano versus Framo. Iiwanan lang niya itong si Erwin Framo. And an 8-0 run by Manila. Got them the upper hand at 31-30. However, Cardell will get this drive. Using his right hand, Labayan will drive against Alex Compton. Difficult angle for Dean Labayan, but he was feeling good in the second quarter had that hang time to pass it to De La Rosa for a big three-point basket. A counter-attack by the Negro Slashers. Romela Ducol being double-team spotting. Peter Martin, slow to recover on defense in the Negro Slashers, and they paid the price for it because Dina Bayan had to pick up on Peter Martin. John Ferriol's popping from the outside. Ferriol with eight points. And look at his fast break. Ito yung counter-attack na ginawa ng Negro Slashers. Compton couldn't do anything. Fast break by De La Rosa. And Labayan will get this tip in. Coming from the outside, eight points from Dean Labayan. And Negros up to a nine point lead, 51 to 42. And we thought all the while it, it was going to be very tight nung nakahabol ng Manila Metro Stars. But again, nung tinanggal si Chuchu Serrano dun sa lineup ng Manila Metro Stars, pinasok si Gilbert De Mappi at saka si Alex Compton, bumagal yung laro. They were suffering from the outside. They need a Chuchu Serrano just for that speed. Yung speed element, kailangan nila ngayon kasi nauunahan ang Manila Metro Stars ng Negro Slashers. And we'll feel, we'll feel your need for speed when the third quarter uh, comes our way after this short break. Let's play it. Video challenge. And for the first time, gada mo, gid nga chikiting ang nag-entra, kaya tirde gid kasadya. Meron kang 500. Tap 
Tapos, pang libre yan, ano? Tapos, yung 500, libre mo na sa akin. Ano na ito? Okay. 1,000 pesos for J.R. Puente Bella. Anong masasabi mo? Thank you sa MBA, sa BSBN, at sa Rejoice. Okay. Maraming salamat din sa'yo. Congratulations. Abangan po ninyo ang Rejoice Video Kit Challenge tuwing Merkules at Sabado sa inyong lugar. Ang Rejoice Video Kit Challenge sa MBA ay handog sa inyo ng new winning Rejoice, Dulas Hot Oil, Lambot Hot Oil, Great hair for that winning moment. Maraming salamat po. Okay, thank you very much, Pia. Maraming salamat dun sa mga sumali sa ating NBA Rejoice Video Kid Challenge. Alex Compton practicing dahil uh, did not have a good shooting first half. Dito pa naman, dedication talaga ni Compton in trying to perfect his craft uh, sa aming Danny. And the crowd getting into Alex <laughs> Compton. Kasi itong si Alex Compton naman really suffered and, um, you know, Before the game started, we were talking about the bodies. Tandem and uh, itong Manila Metro Stars only getting 12 points so far from the tandem of Alex Compton and Romela Dupol. And we were highlighting the fact that Dupol plays the center position, highly complementing the game of um, the outside game of Alex Compton playing the guard position. But at the half, hirap na hirap sila. As compared to the Negro Slashes, De La Rosa and Perios, we're looking at the three and four positions combining for 16 points on top of 11 rebounds combined. So Romela Dupol visibly bothered. No? Para sa akin, unahan lang sa isang laro. At um, naunahan nga ito si Romelo Dupol. Nagpakita ka agad ng gila si Dorian Peña. Opening buzzer pa lamang. Ang field goal percentage natin, Negros, again, slightly had 44% as against only 41% for the Manila Metro Stars. Pero naman sa rebounds, ang Manila, 32 against 29. Lumalaban itong Negros. Eh, yun yung nga importante. Pagka nagpapakita yung buong kupunan na lumalaban sila, eh, nakakatulong yan. They can easily tap the ball away to an open teammate. And turnover story, when you limit your turnovers to only 8 at the half, that's a very good sign as compared to the 12 turnovers of the Manila Metro Stars, which has been converted into 12 points by the Negros Lashers. And Manila being led by... Peter Martin with 8 points, Compton and Adukol with 6. Ang familiar itong magiging role ni Peter Martin. He has to be up to it every time matapasaan siya ng mga pasa na mula kay Romel Adukol. And the other, on the other hand, ito si Dorian Peña leading the way with 14 points. Aba, yung uh, walang tigil na pagpapractice ni Alex Compton finally paying off, hitting the 3 to start the second half with the 2 rather for Manila. 51-44, 7-point lead. Sasagot si Dean Nabayan. Alam niyo mga kaibigan, right before this game, a lot of Negros fans were very much concerned bakit nasuspend si Mario Alar. But with Dean Labayan scoring 10 points, medyo nakakalimutan na lang ng panandali lamang ano, pagkawala ni Mawe. Bilis na sumagot. Si Chuncho Serrano. Alex Santos, uh, your report please from the Negros bench. Yes, Miko. Napakatindi yung mga pinag-usapan nila during the halftime natin. Well, sabi nga ni Coach, uh, he can't afford to lose Dean Labayan just to bring the, uh, the offense in order. Kanina napansin natin, less labayan, mukhang nagkakaroon ng stag stagnant yung kanilang opensa. And sabi nga niya, watch out for Alex Compton, he might explode anytime. At sabi niya, watch out for Manila's backward pressure na gagawin ng people guards. Ito sila Compton, Serrano, and Dimape. Napansin natin yan, ito ang kanilang uh, chance para makahabol dito ng Manila Metro Stars. Miko Danny, back to you. And watch out for John Periol. Si Periol, meron ng sampung puntos. Here's Compton. Compton will shoot again. Here's off to Adukul and there's the one-two-punch para sa Manila. And it looks like a ito na yung concern ni Coach Noel. Paano nakakapasok si Alex Compton at paano niya na ibibigay yung bola kay Romela Dupol? You know, you know, before this game, sabi ni Alex, sabi ni Dean, matatakot siya, he was very hesitant. In that last sequence, he was asking for the ball, asking for it, then alam niya he can go strong to that. Hindi lang yun, he could easily fish for the fourth foul of Romela Dupol. Very aggressive itong defense and Negros and Creole to face the ball. Easy to... Don't look now, the Slashers have opened up the biggest lead of the game at 11. 59-48 Pia, I'm sure they are very much concerned at this stage. Actually, Nico, in the dugout of the Manila Metro Stars, Coach Louis Adams was very disappointed with the character that his boys showed in the first half. Ginawa nila ang lahat na sinabi nila, hindi nila gagawin. They gave up too many offensive rebounds and transition points. They let the crowd affect them adversely. So the Manila Metro Stars being a strong third quarter team hope to get back into this game by making one stop and one basket at a time. They want to show some pride. We go back to you. 
He has an assist from Manila DHL every second count. Let's go back to live action. Thank you very much, Pia, for that dog out report. Pia mentioned a very important trade. Third quarter attack. You know what Cebu did last Wednesday? They prevented Manila from exploding in the uh, third quarter. Kaya sila nagkaroon ng pagkakatong manalo. And let's see if Negros can do that. Dorian Peña started the first quarter strong. And he is starting the third quarter on the same note. 16 points para kay Peña. Well, he really is outplaying Romela Dupol and he's feeling good about it. Did you know that numbers don't fly? And the starters of Negros at the half at 47 points is against only 26 for the starters of the Manila Metro Stars. And it really is... The bench helping the Manila Metro Stars. Na yun ang ayon tinitingnan ni Coach Louis Alas. Sino bang pwede niyang kuwanin sa bench na maari niyong score para sa kanyang ipunan? Now, because of the strong move na hatid sa atin ng 45, thanks to Dorian Peña, Negros is now enjoying their biggest lead of the game at 13 points, 61-48. With 9-10 to go in the third. You know, Compton is really struggling. Here's Dean Labayan. Labayan. And don't you confianza. Sinasa kay De La Rosa. 15 on the shot clock. De La Rosa for a long two. No, just it's a pretty old. Take fire. There goes in. Looks like Manila may want to call a timeout. This is a huge 15-point lead. Every time you have that lead against the Manila Metro Stars, it is big. Sanay tayo, Manila ang bumubulong sa third quarter. Pero balik sa mundo ngayong gabi dito sa Baholod. We'll be back. Ngayon, mas pinalakas at mas pinahusay na Bulkasin. Super Bulkasin. Super tapal na. Super dikit pa. Tapal wow, sa gero. Super Bulkasin. Lahat pero dikit sa alulod. Super Bulkasin. Carpintero. Tapal sa tubo. Super Bulkasin. Tubero. Dikit sa floor tile. Super Bulkasin. Cantero. Tapal. Simento. Super Bulkasin. Bason. Yan ang Super Bulkasin. Super tapal na. Super dikit pa. You know where to na, Jollibee, best sellers, 20% off sa inyo. Sa nagsusumarap na regular Yemen spaghetti at one-piece burger steak volume meals. Huwag pa lang pasig. Kaya galaw na kayo. Let's go, yo, yo! Wait! Mindanao for complete comfort without compromising value with rooms to suit every kind of budget plus the most exciting bowling club in town. You are sure to find your place of rest or recreation in this exotic metropolis. Experience hospitality like nowhere else, standing true to the real double venue spirit. Haddock's Jeans, a legend on its own. Winston, now in a new international pack. Hartman, the NBA under fashion. Hartman, the only undergarment made of 100% super cone cotton. Oh yes, the fans, and action is very intense. This is a University of St. Lazare, De La Rosa to Adukul. Adukul! Oh yes! Oh yes, that's why in Manila, they call Adukul the franchise. Getting the basket and possible three-point play. And you know, Miko, that um, timeout called by Coach Louis Alas for me. Aside from being being a timely timeout, for me, is now beginning to show whether the Manila Metro Stars can withstand the pressure of being down by as much, uh, well, more than 10 points. Uh, question of character na to kung makakabalik sila because you don't do that to, the, to a Manila Metro Star. A team that is in the middle of a 22-game winning streak. Labayan with a miss. Basket will not count. There was a foul. You know, Dean Labayan is the difference tonight. Look at this strong move. Alam mo, the confidence is there. The aggress aggressiveness is there. Wala na yung takot, wala oh. na yung hesitation na daladala pa niya before this ball game. In the previous meeting, Labayan played 12 minutes and scored just two points. Just two points. Two points. Tonight, meron na siyang 12 points. 
Pay attention to the gun with his trip to the line. And he caught a big fish in the person of Romelo Dugol, who gave up his fourth personal foul. Alam mo, sinayo madani ganina, this could be the breakout party para kay Dean Nabayan. But he misses the second free throw. You know, when we talk about field goals naman, Nico Ang Negros, six out of six from the field here in the third quarter. Now, Adogo's basket earlier snapped an 8-0 run by Negros. Let's see if he will be able to score again against the double team. Feeding to Martin. Lazy pass na agaw ng Negros. 8.06 to go in the third. Negros up by 13 big points. Perio, there's the double team. There's the current. Perio still tries it, forced it. And Adogo is there to clear the board. So na naman si Chuchu Serrano. Chuchu Serrano over to Peter Martin. Peter Martin Lintes. Sorry, miss. Here's Dean Labayan. Labayan over to Ferriols. Ferriols attacking. No. That's a good call. Yes, yeah, I agree. Defensive foul. I agree. Against John Ferriols. Watch the right hand of Ferriols. Yon. And how is against Romelo Dupo. Now, knowing that um, Dupo already had four fouls, he's not going to Romelo Dupo, but this time around, like backfire sa kanya because Ferriols will now carry four fouls as well. Uupo si Ferriols, papalitan ni Leo Bato. Chuchu Serrano over to Compton. 4-3, Kabang! After going 0 out of 3 from the 3-point range, tumukul na mula sa labas ito si Alex Compton. Now Serrano will be called for the foul. And of course the fans are getting in the act. That will be uh, Serrano's second foul. And that will be the second team foul of Manila here in the third. Union double team, Kai Cardell. Let's go back to live action. Cardell has the ball, working on Serrano. Cardell with a miss. 7 7 to go, 10 point lead para sa Negros Pastor. Alex Compton with the three earlier. He will try again. And that is short. Kakaturoan sa ilalim. There was a uh, rugged action between Batog and Martin. Peña claims that uh, foul should have been called on Peter Martin. Let's see. Source of confusion. Well, you know, the referee was just signaling that the ball will be given to the Negro Slasher side. The like, react naman ito si Dorian Peña because the ball actually hit the underside of the backboard. Now, there is some debris on the floor, but not enough to stop this game. Cardell, baseline, jumper goes over the backboard. And there is a foul underneath. If, if it's on Adukun, that will be his fifth. Let's check. You know, it is on a Google. That's going to be number five. But what's funny about this shot? As we take a look at this one, wala na yung bola nandun sa kabila ng backboard. So automatic violation yan. I don't understand why there was a foul call against Romelo Dupol because the referee should admit that the ball was already behind the backboard. So kailangan itinawag din nila for a uh, change in possession. You know, it's not surprising in, a, in an emotionally packed game like this one. Uh, some tempers will flare, and of course, uh, some fans, unfortunately, will have to get into the act. Para naman eh, huwag natin hayaang masira, no? Itong takbo ng laro. At least the Negro stands to keep in mind. Baka kami na kung puro ng sampo. 64-64. Any break in the game could, could change the momentum. Yes. Uh, momentum can swing back to the Manila Manila yes. Stars, but that was a very big call made by the referee because, of course, there's reason to celebrate for the Negros fan. That's going to be five, and Dorian Peña asserting himself, yes, quickly taking advantage of the absence of Adukul Peña now with 18 points. 12 point lead para sa Negros Stars. Over six minutes to go, here's a third. Oh, nice backdoor play para kay Martin, pero masyadong malalim ang kanyang pagtanggap. Here's Serrano. Serrano hesitated, and the foul will be on Dean Labayan. 
And what we're seeing, the offense of the Manila Metro Stars, yung, yung lack of ano eh, lack of speed, no lack of crisp passes. Yung normally nakikita natin na yung bola umiiko from one side to the other side in a split second, hindi natin nakikita yun. I think what we saw in the Cagayante or the game is that if you keep Manila uh, from, from running away in the third, may pag-asa ka. You look at Peter Martin who is leading the Hardy Flex King of the Boards race. Here's Compton. Compton against Labaya. Compton over to Serrano. Then on the shot clock. De La Rosa from the baseline. Babanda, yes. Good ball game so far para kay Ruben. He now has six points. In Labaya. Over to Batco. Still a 10-point lead. Para sa Negros Lasso. Kenya asking for it. Kenya on the block. Alam mo, napakahirap talagang pigilin ko si Kenya. Pag nagawa na rin kanyang pihit. Kaya kailangan nga yung mati Demi Don Tomaso. Dorian Peña is powerful. Kailangan niya i-half front ito si Dorian Peña. Huwag na niya patanggapin. Pahirapan man lang niya yung pasa kay Dorian Peña. Hindi niya pinapahirapan. Hindi niya pinapahirapan. Hindi niya pinapahirapan. Pick up another foul. Here's not a good sign for us Manila. Adupol is on the bench with five fouls. Amaso just picked up his fourth personal foul. But Peña misses the first of two free throws. By the way, pasalamatan lang natin. Came as Pension House and Baholic Executive in ang ating tirahan dito sa Baholic para sa NBA. 0-2 para kay Peña. But it's still a 10-point edge for the Negros Slasher. 4 out of 12 free throw shooting by Dorian Peña. Sayang naman yung pagkakato na lumama, lumaki pa ang kalamangan nitong Negros Slasher sa kanyang mga free throws. 5 and 20 to go in the third. 4 straight points para kay Ruben. 8 points now for De La Rosa. Alam mo, mga Lina Metro Stars, they can come back in this ballgame. What they're trying to do right now, they're trying to look for those sweet spots. No? Yung, saan sila makakalibre, higher percentage, mga malalapit na mga easy baskets for them. Here's Romy against Ruben. Masyado malakas yung tira ni Romy De La Rosa. Tapakbo ang Metro Stars. Compton to Serrano. Serrano back to Compton. Compton, he is thinking about that three-pointer, which does not go in. Another rebound for Kenya. 12 rebounds for Victorian Kenya. Here's the Bayern. The Bayern zigzagging. Oh, found an opening. Found, but oh, yes! What a great pass by Dean Labayan. And talk about confidence in one game in the absence of Maui Willard. Pinapakita na ni Dean Labayan yan dito. Great penetration mula kay Dean Labayan. You need confidence to pull off something like that. Already with four assists, ito si Dean Labayan on top of 13 points. On five out of seven field goals shooting. That is confidence for you. Here's Compton, who is always confident. But you know, there is something terribly wrong about this uh, shooting tonight. Atatawagan pa ng loose ball foul itong si Ruben De La Rosa. Second foul on Ruben De La Rosa. Here's the second look. That will be Manila's uh, fifth team foul in the penalty. You know, Alex Compton, we just uh, received the signal from our stats people. Now, Alex Compton, one out of eight. It's a three-point range. It's less than 10 percent. Shooting for Alex Compton. I wonder if this is his worst shooting performance ever. This is Dorian Peña. Not really known to be a good shooter from the line. Pero, paso. Yung una, 19 points para kay Dorian Peña. Balik sa 11 ang labang ng Negros. Could be 12. Depending on what Gordon Peña does, Peña now with 20 points. 12 point lead para sa Negro Slasher. And he has matched the total output that he made in the previous um, outing or meeting. Third quarter pa lamang tayo. Crowd chanting defense. 3.55 to go in the third period. The ball is with Dumape. Inside pass to Jun Lovalo. Dumape takes, fires. The backcourt for Manila has not been producing. That's true, and uh, because of the foul rhythm of front line of the Manila Metro Stars, two ends are suffering now. Oh, what a put back by Leo but old. <laughs> Mr. Fearless coming out of nowhere to put that basketball back in the rim. Oh, what a block by Bato, but there is a foul. There is a foul. 
you just happen to feel the concentration of this Negro Slasher squad, Nico. Kanita mo naman yan, kahit na nung gawin ng Manila Metro Stars, ang bilis na nga mag-rotate on defense. And let's take a look at that. Coming out of nowhere, ito si Leo Baton. Yan ang kanyang specialty. Yung pitulan, yung walang buwa box out. Okay, Demape on the line of the third foul of Dorian Peña. Pasok ang una para kay Gilbert Demape. You know, the backcourt of Manila is really struggling tonight. As Demape misses the second free throw. What can I say? Bob Cabasso, not a second motion, but he quickly apologizes to Leo Baton. Okay, here, here's the miss by the mapping. It's not a bad guy to say it. Now, Kamasu will lose the ball. Are you? Sa haba ng kamay ni Kamasu, tinama niya dalawang player. Si Peña at si Bato. Yung foul na dyan. Okay, so Kamasu will be assessed a technical foul for uh, unsportsmanlike uh, action, second motion. Three seventeen to go. Beat us a third quarter. Cardell with a technical free throw. Cardell now with 10 points in the ball game, increasing Negros' lead to 14, 73, 59. The biggest lead was at 15 points. And now we're moving to the other, to the other side. Uh, Lotus is going to Masanon, will be hitting two free throws. Well, with three minutes and 17 left in the third quarter, a 14-point lead by the Negros Lashers, all Manila could do. Let's try to bring it down to about six points. That's going to be manageable for them getting to the fourth quarter. But you don't normally see the Manila Metro Stars trying to play catch-up ball. Actually, pihira ang pihira yun. Alas wala na nga sa dictionary natin yun. Damang dahil. Mahabo lang ba nila? Ang hindi ako sanay sabihin. Oo. Here's Cardell against the Mape. 15 on the shot clock. 3.07 in the game clock. Ito ba sa third quarter. Cardell will lose the ball. Last touch on Manila. Cardell will sit down in favor of Erwin Bravo. Well, good defense played by Gilbert de Mappen. Only 11 seconds left on the shot clock of the Negro Flashers. Negros up by 12. Labayne will start to play. Over to Dorian Pena. Pena has 20 points so far, and he loses the ball. Recovered by Don Camasso. Compton to the map, eh? and there's a foul from Erwin Pramo. That's only going to be the first personal foul of Erwin Pramo, who has inserted back into the ball game, replacing Jonathan Cartel. May time out to ang Negros, lamang sila ng 12. Magbabalik po kami dito sa Bacolod City after this break. Moisturizes hair like never before. Makes hair extra healthy. Mas mabilis humaba ang buhok. It's true. Less time split ends, no need for haircuts. Hindi instant, pero before you know it, mahaba na ulit. New Pantene Extra. Mas healthy, mas mabilis humaba. May warranty. May warranty. Eh, ito, walang tea. Tea ba'y? Palitan na ang plywood. Mag-Hardy Flex, ito lang ang may warranty. Hardy Flex, sa konkretong plywood, buhang loob mo. May warranty, kaya no worry. City pretty. Kung plywood ang gamit nyo sa dingding, di nyo lang 
alam. Inaanay na. Mapepeste kayo. Palitan na ang plywood. Mag Hardiflex. Gawa sa fiber cement, kaya matibay. Hardiflex. Sa konkretong plywood, buo ang loob mo. Walang aray, anay. The world's largest city is experienced at her very heart. The Royal Mandaya Hotel. Where you experience warm smiles, warm hospitality in such an enchanting place. We do want to guest rooms and suites that offer a breathtaking view of majestic Mount Apple and the Davao Gulf. The Royal Mandaya Hotel. Winston, now in a new international pack. Mga po mamaya, pipili po kami ng Caltech star player after the game. Ngayon, punta natin. I understand, Alex, meron kang balita mula sa Negros Bench. Yes, uh, Miko, short update ito sa injury update on Mayo Bato. Matapos ito matamaan ng siko ni uh, Don Tamaso kanina, well, uh, nagkaroon ito ng cut sa kanyang left eyelid at uh, according to our NBA physician dito, well, makakaroon ito na tatahiin talaga ito mga one or two stitches according to our physician. At uh, don't worry sa mga viewers ng uh, Negros Slashers, pabalik si Leo Batog at tutulungan kanyang kutunan. Back to Miko, Danny. Well, Alex, uh, noong Leo Batog, Walang inuuruhan yan, injury or otherwise, ano? Kaya nga siya, Mr. Fearless. Kaya mape with a miss from the lines. Dean Labayan has been playing the game of his very brief NBA career. That's true, very active. Ito si Dean Labayan. He is making things work for his team. 241 remaining in the third. Bola na kay John Perios. There's the double team. Bola Rosa, Mintes. Rebound ni Camaso. Pero labang pa rin ng 12, ang Negros. You know, I always feel na itong Manila should be able to speed up the game. Hindi nila nagagawa yun. And this has cost them a lot of turnovers. Awkward move mula kay Ferriols. And Dean Laban continues to scorch the net with 15 points. 15 points as compared to the production of Alex Compton. Only 7 points so far for Alex Compton. And against the same Negros team last July 25, Alex exploded with 32 points. He is in. Wala. Oh, way off track si Alex. Oh, Miltis at that time. Really tough shooting night para kay Compton. 153 to go. Negros up by 14 points. And you're not seeing any smiles coming from Alex Compton. You'd normally see a smile from him pagka maganda yung kanyang laro. Here's for your host. Escapes the double team with a hop, pero Mintes. Gilbert Damape with the ball is struggling with only three points tonight. Chung Long yes. You know, in the key victories of Manila, Chung Long Along always, uh, is always a prominent factor. But uh, sa ngayon, medyo tahili ka sa first two points of the ball. Alam mo, kailangan mag-sacrifice ito si Chung Long Along dahil eh, si Peter Martin, nasa loko yun nasa bench. Kinasama na rin si Romila Dukol. So, itong shock troopers ni Louis Alas, We'll try to bring the lead of the Negros Lashes down. Pero hindi maaari yan. Great stutter step mula kay Romy De La Rosa showing the rookie, A.C. Brown, how it's done. 14-point lead muli para sa Negros Lashes. Less than a minute to go in the third. Kamaso with a spin. Kamaso with a stretch. Kamaso Mintes. Nangalong Mintes. Brown Mintes. Anong bola lalabas? mananatiling sa panig ng Manila. Alam mo, itong uh, point guard rotation ng Manila Metro Stars, they are not showing the kind of um, offensive might that they normally have in this game. Pia, si Rav Joyce Jose. Ralph Pia, siyang ating master Eskinoal Guapo of the game. Maso, inside. Mintis pa rin. Long, long block. It is a combination of malas and tough defense. And that's what's important right now for the Manila Metro Stars. Compton, walang kaduda-duda. He is struggling tonight. At my offensive foul pa mula kay Jun Longalo. And he doesn't like the call. Well, at this point, the game of the Manila Metro Stars are being tested by the challenge being posed to them by the Negro Slashers and yung offense nila nawawala yung kanilang fluidity on offense dahil nga nagahabot sila something they're not accustomed to unfortunately yeah. 16 seconds to go in the third ang bola na kay De La Rosa over to Perriol Perriol full strong move pabanda pa po the lead is now 16 for Negros them up is sasagot Mintes, rebound na pupunta kay Lito Aguilar. But Aguilar, well Aguilar will end 
the third quarter on Negros' note. Wow, what a quarter. What a game so far for Negros. Nagigita ko na. If they hold on, a victory party dyan sa Manukan country. <laughs> Lahat ng barbecue makakain nyo. Nandyan mahanap kayo sa Baholod City. We'll be back with the fourth quarter after this short break. Philippine Rabbit, the official MBA 99 carrier. Traveling in style, comfort, and safety. That's every Filipino's wish. Now, discover what millions of passengers have experienced. The Philippine Rabbit Experience. Clean buses, courteous personnel, and safety beyond any other carrier. The Philippine Rabbit Experience. In the year of the rabbit, you just gotta try it. Unmade in distress at ang kanyang bright and shining armor. Hey! 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 Good morning. It sure looks like one. Mmm, breakfast. Here's the milk. Thank you. Want some for your coffee? Milk and coffee? You've never tried Coffee Mate, have you? No, it's made especially for coffee. Only Coffee Mate makes coffee taste richer, smoother, and creamier. Mmm, milk for cereal. Coffee Mate for coffee. Uh, see? Even my cup agrees with me. Coffee Mate. <laughs> what you put in coffee, even when there's milk around. Now, Smoother Gildies brings your NBA home team's road games on a giant TV straight to your barangay at the Gildies NBA Hometown Showdown. With cash, color TVs, gift packs, and get a taste of now Smoother Gildies as you and your townmates cheer your team on to victory. The Gildies Hometown Showdown, coming home to you. Darlington, the ultimate performance socks. Walang himulmol, the official socks of the NBA. Hartman, the NBA under fashion. Hartman, the only undergarment made of 100% super comb cotton. And later on, we'll be choosing our Caltech star player of the game. By the way, pati ko lang, happy birthday kay Jojo Hinosa of Cebu City, diehard NBA fan from the Queen City of the South. Let's go back to this game. Fourth quarter action is underway. Here's Kenya. He misses. AC Brown with the rebound. You know, to show some form of an inside game, napilita na talaga si Coach Luis Alas na upesan ito sa fourth quarter. Si Romela Duco, some numbers. Negro shooting 63%. And they went six out of six. Their first six shots. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That is goodbye. Adios. Pakita-kita na lang tayo muli. Romela Duco. He will leave the game with six personal fouls. Good straight up defense played by Dorian Peña and the crowd here going wild on the sixth. And last foul of Romel Aducol. Aducol will finish only with 11 points and five rebounds, Nico. Now, Danny, explain to me why Aducol was on the floor at the start of the fourth with five personal fouls. Wala na kasi una-una talagang nakakapasok na ang negro slasher sa loob, especially Dorian Peña at saka si John Carrios. They were making mincemeat of the defense thrown at them by the Manila Metal Stars lineup at the front line. Negros up by 16, still 16, still 16, 16 pa rin. Talaga hindi maharap ng Manila ang target. At nagbigay pa ng foul ito si Peter Martin and Peter Martin will collect his third personal foul. Let's get this quick update mula kay Alex Santos. Alex! Yes, Miko. Alam mo, wala nang dapat katakutan o ano man lang, aalalahanin ito si Coach Junuel. Well, kumbaga, nakapuhunan na sila. Napakalaki ang league nila dito ngayon. All they have to do, well, natural lamang. Basic strategies to protect the ball. Every possession counts. At ingatan na nila itong league nila. At yung second set sa Manila Metro Stars, ingatan nito. Dahil dito sila nakakapuntos. Miko, Danny, back to you. Compton fell hard on the floor. He's still on the floor. Ball is with Trauma, who is fouled. The Compton was slow getting up. You cannot see him on your screen. He is near the official table. There's Compton who may have gotten an elbow to groin area. You try to check if he caught that in slow mo. But Peter Martin giving up his fourth personal foul. 
These are two quick fouls by Tito Martinez. Again, brings us back to the question. They are being tested, but the character of the Manila Metro Stars is take a look at the winded Alex Taunton. Nagiging shaky ngayon ang front line ng Manila Metro Stars. And without Romela Dugo, who has fouled out, there's a big question mark on guys like Peter Martin and Don Comaso, who will start to hold the fort against Dorian Peña and John Carriol. Lucky bounce para kay Erwin Tramo. 17-point lead na para sa Negro Smashers, their biggest lead of the game. 80-63. Over 10 minutes to go in the ballgame. Peter Martin is being bothered. And Pramo with a steal. And Compton will be called for the offensive foul. That's going to be number three against Alex Compton. The offense of the Manila Metro Stars shattered at this point. And you know why? Because during the third quarter, ang pass break points ng Negros nasa sampo. Ang Manila Metro Stars nasa dalawa lang. And we were questioning, maaring gusto bilisan ng Manila Metro Stars yung kanilang laro, especially on the fast break. Bravo! Very old! No foul call. Tatakbo ang Manila. 3 on 2. Here's the map eh. Tukamaso! Bang! One of the very few moments that the Manila Metro Stars ran their offense but Negro still up by 15. Near field by Manila. A lot of arm contact. The foul will be on Peter Martin. That will be his fifth personal foul. Three straight fouls given up by Peter Martin. Matala ito isang dikit na dikit. Will kasil shot block. Let's go back to live action. Kailangan maintindihan ni Peter Martin that the responsibility will fall on his shoulders being a veteran in terms of the front line. But giving up three quick fouls and ending up with five fouls, that's questionable of him. Lalabai got a big hand when he went to the bench. And Ferriot will get a hand for that great curl move. Oh boy, itong uh, opensa ng Negros talagang bumubulusok. Ten minutes to go in the ball game. Tomaso with the ball over to the struggling Alex Compton. 17-point lead, Compton for three. He never counts out Alex Compton. No matter how you know, how much he has struggled tonight. But he has to pump in more points, Nico, should they want to get back into this 14-point um, game being enjoyed by the Negro Slashers. Wala na kay Peña. Peña, over to Framo. Framo can hit the three. But it's short. Last touch on Camacho. Let's watch the strong move mula kay Don Gamasso. Kids happy lang, 45. Ayun, bawat laro yata, may ganito si Don Gamasso on the past trick. Kenya, Bella Rosa, top of the key. Fourteen point lead. Listen to Sarana working from the left corner against the veteran, Romy Bella Rosa. Nine on the shot clock. Serrano out of control. You know, this is a good play for Coach Noel who put a taller guard on Chuchu Serrano, si De La Rosa. At, um, si Serrano may want to attack, pero hindi niya alam. On the first line of defense, kahit kumalusutin niya si De La Rosa, sino mag-aabang sa kanya, maharing si Peña na, at saka si John Perios. Perios asking for the basketball. Sardel. He will fire, and he will score. <laughs> Kia, yeah, lumalayo na ng lumalayo itong Negro Sassers. Yes, Nico. In fact, the Manila Negro Sassers are suddenly finding themselves in a position that they are not used to. They're down by huge deficit. They are in foul trouble and their backcourt is simply not performing. And this is when Coach Tuiala says their character, their toughness has to come out. They have to stay together and they have to play together. Miko, back to you. You want to talk about tough? That was a hard fall by Dorian Peña. In fact, narinig natin yung Danny. But he's on his feet and he's even asking for the ball right now. Ball is with Carriol. Here's Manila. They have eight minutes to get back in the game. Demape stops and pops. Misses. Tomaso trying to keep the ball alive. Nakuha ni Cardell. Kailangan nun alalahanin ng Negros na nung first game, 
Davao led by as much as 27 points, only to be challenged in the end, sending the game into overtime. Ang ginawa ng Laguna Lakers, dalawang overtime yun. So, at this point, they want to play the natural game. What brought them to a 14-point lead, they have to play it, Nico. Kailangan, huwag sila mag-hesitate. Kailangan lumabas na at this point yung killer instinct nila. 7 minutes and 45 na lang. 49 na lang ang nalalabi dito sa ating laro. We touched on the previous game. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that game. Let's uh, check the sequence for Negros. 19 on the shot clock, 7.43 on the game clock. They're up by 14, 84-70. Brahma posting up Compton. That's a smart decision, pero minti. Kenya, yes! Kenya now with 22 points. Tap out by John Cardell. Now let's go back to that previous game. Kanina po. Double overtime victory for the Davao Eagles, 113-106. And that gave Davao a 19 win and 9 loss record, making them number one in the South. That is, no, kung di makahabol, kung makahabol sa kanila, ang uh, Negros. Kahit si Banano, 31 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 assists. Ngayon, meron tayo 30 seconds time. Ang nakatid ng Winston, now with a new international pack. Let's listen in on the Manila coaching staff. back to the city of smiles uh ay bako niyan bako na dapat ano ka man hindi but sila hindi pwedeng umiti eh lamang na lamang yung kanilang kupunan ng labing anim 86 70 with 7 minutes and 27 seconds to go in the game you know parang uh, itong negros clearly in control of the ball game compton for three hindi pumasok and laban will get a rebound you know we'll check the shooting numbers of alex compton as we go along you know this crowd is sensing an upset in the making. Oh, they are seven minutes away from that. But they will have to hold on and they will have to play excellent basketball from here on in. And exactly what Romy De La Rosa did, slicing the defense. Patuloy pa rin ang atake nitong Negro Slashers. They have the right thing in mind. The Manila Metro Stars now, they have to challenge the Negro Slashers defense. Kailangan pumasok sila sa loob. Hamaso attacking. Hamaso wala. Here's Compton. Compton passes, goes, all right. It goes into the waiting hands of Leo Batol. Negros is now enjoying their biggest lead of the game at 18 points, 88-70. 6.29 to go in this contest. Here's De La Rosa, spotting up. No, he decides to take it easy. Magahanap siya ng papasa. Thanks, Cardell. Three on the shot clock. Cardell will have to shoot. Cardell flip shot. Oh, what a shot from John Del Cardell. You know, everything has been going right for the Negro Slashers. A huge 20-point lead being enjoyed. Serrano trying to counter with a layup. Oh, wala mo namang to celebrate. We still have six minutes to go. But Manila down by 18. Back to 20. A 20-point lead for the Negro Slashers. And Negros has been doing it via drives. They're not going for an outside shot. They're just going to try to go through the middle because they know they don't have Romelo Dukul. Are the mighty Manila Metro Stars falling tonight? That is the question. We are 5 minutes and 33 seconds away from coming up with an answer. Will Negros be the, the team to snap Manila's 22-game winning run? La Bayan 4-3. Kenya with a rebound. Kenya is fouled. Wala na magagawa si Pechi Ang para kung hindi magbigay ng foul. Manila has scored only two points in the last three minutes. And let's watch this FedEx fast break. 
Romy De La Rosa going all the way. FedEx, we live to deliver. They time out on Negros. They are up by 20 big points. We'll be back. Winston now in a new international pack. You know how much Compton has struggled tonight? 28% two-point field goals, 20% from the three-point range. Malaking bagay yan, considering that he exploded the first time these two teams met. Alex Compton had 32 big points during that time, that game, pero ngayon na struggling. Not, um, let's face it, magandang ginawa ang rotation ni Coach Junuel sa kanya mga manlalaro no at um, napilitan si Coach Louis Alas to be put on the defensive. Siya yung sumasagot dun sa mga rotation na ginagawa ni Coach Junuel dahil naman eh, foul rate din naman yung mga player niya. Turnover para sa Manila. Oh, di la bayan. Louis Alas has to be traveling. Referee Pablo says no. Play will continue. Pero the shot clock, Negros up by 21. The steal by Manila, 3 on 2. De La Rosa to Compton. Compton for three. Compton is short. And that has been the story of the game. Para kay Alex Compton. Pia, I will have to ask you a question, which Danny brought up earlier. Is this Manila team a tired team? Well, right now, you can sinasabi na hindi sila pagod nito, pero I have to say, may nakakita ko nang nakakaramdam sila ng counting pagod and a lot of frustration. In fact, this has prompted Coach Louis Alice to urge his boys to focus on doing the little things right. Hindi na nagagawa yung mga maliliit na bagay kaya dahil, dahil marahil napapagod na rin sila. At sabi ni Coach Louis Alice, wala na siyang pakailan kung anong mangyari sa laro ito. Kailangan lang huwag na silang basta gusto ko lalaban sila hanggang huli. Nico, Danny, back to you. Well, kailangan talaga nila lumaban because this will put in question the kind of game the Manila Metro Stars may be having as they get into the playoffs so being beaten by 20 points okay na matalo basta pakita mo lumalaba ka try to really close in on that lead with time down to 4 minutes and 10 oh what a pass over to Ferriol she stopped you cannot find Romy De La Rosa but last touch on Ruben I think that's gonna be a lucky break for the Negro oh. Stars 405 to go Negro still up by 21. And did you know that the Negro Slashers, we timed out to 4 minutes and 5, they have not given up a foul yet. So, malaking bagay yan. Kasi nagbimintis rin naman yung Manila Metro Stars sa kanilang atake. Lila Bayan of Ferriol. Over to the cutting Batog! Who misses? But the Slashers get it back. And here's Batog. Batog, over to Tromo. Of course, they will milk the clock. They are up by 21. No need to hurry up. Hindi kailang magmadali, so iniko tuloy ang bola. Dela Rosa, trouble for three. Look at Batog battle for that rebound. Keep in mind, Batog, nang galing ko sa dugout, may malaking sugat o hiwa kung sa kanyang kanang mata. Kaliwa, kaliwang mata na tumutugutugo pa. Ano ba eh? Nakakay ba talaga yung tapang na pangkakaan ito? And that is the effort. Na sinasabi natin, it's the killer instinct that you may want to pervade in a team like the Negro Slashers, even if they have a 21 point team. Well, Peter Martin was called for his fifth, uh, sixth rather, and final foul. Better time timeout, we'll be right back. Habang lumalaki si baby, nagiging curious. Lahat ng gamit sinusubo. Kaya dapat. With the way Manila has been shooting the ball and has been throwing away the basketball, if they go on to lose this game, how will it affect you know the, this team's morale, their frame of mind, their momentum going into the next round? It's going to be bothering them, especially Coach Louis Alas. You know, how can a very, very strong team on a 22-game winning streak lose out to the Negro Slashers? I'm not saying that Negros is not a strong team. They're a very strong team. Yung problema lang, to lose out by a very big margin, that is the question mark for oh, the yes. elemental stars. That will be something they will be reviewing for uh, the next uh, number of days. They'll be looking at game tape, trying to figure out what went wrong in Baholo. 
Now, if Negros goes on to win this game, how will that affect the race for the top spot in the South? Well, they're going to hold, be holding on to the number two spot now behind Davao, but in case Cebu would tie them, Cebu is currently ranking third. Kahit natablahin ng um, Cebu eh, by tie break, ilalamang pa rin itong Negros sa kanilang head-to-head -head battle. Well, despite the block, uh, what a great effort mula kay Leo Batong. 2 and 49 to go, and Gilbert Demape and Alex Compton have uh, really combined to shoot the poor numbers from the field. Sama ng timing, sama ng timing na yung inside game ng mga Metro Stars na wala. Okay na sana kung mawala yun, as long as tumitira sila mula sa labas, pumataas kung matira nila, pero nawala rin yung outside game ng mga Manila Metro Stars. And you cannot have those two components missing in a ball game because you're going to be suffering the same fate that those Metro Stars are suffering from right now against the Negros Lashes and Negros. Nico going back, no? Ang nangyari sa kanila first quarter, it was the inside game of Dorian Peña. Nangyari sa kanila no second quarter, yung outside game naman nila, Johnny Del Cartel. What a great block by Leo Batog. The Negros, a team which is up by 23, still hustling for the basketball. Bravo, Ula Bayer. The final of Creole. Creole will not score. Pia Gonzalez uh, has an interesting update from the Manila bench. Uh, Pia Goyal. Yes, Nico. Well, it looks like the Manila Metro Stars have finally admitted defeat. Coach so Louis Alas calls us last time out to talk to his boys and tell them that even if they do go on to lose this game, everything is still okay. They simply have to keep their heads up and do better in their next game on Wednesday. One thing is sure, though, they will do this game over and over again and try to pound out the chinks in their own armor. Nico, back to you. You know, hindi lang Manila ang... Uh we review the tape no, as uh, we go into our final two minutes at Tate Long Winston now in a new international pack. Of course, all the South teams are watching this. Kasi kung sila malaman ang nangyayari sa Negros. As we look at this uh, full casino, dikit na dikit, uh, block. This will be given to us by Leo Bato. Now, the South teams are watching this game. Or watch this game. The North teams are watching as well. Kasi lahat ng North teams, especially those who think that they will face Manila in the playoffs, Nagaharap ng weakness oh, oh. sa Manila Metro Stars. Yes. And you know, tama nga yung sinabi ni Pia, nothing much has changed for the Manila Metro Stars. They still retain number one spot in the Northern Conference, but getting to the playoffs, a lot of teams will be using this game to be able to find out kung uh, ano yung mga naging weaknesses ng Manila Metro Stars. My uh, favorite player in the universe, si Chan Lim, ay uh, nasa sa higla para sa Negros. So, he's about to fill our need for speed. <laughs> I don't know. The Blur has the ball. The Blur, Iniwana si Chuchu, binigay kay De La Rosa for three! You know, I can't do it as, as well as Kerr Cruz when he says, three! <laughs> oh boy, what a blow out dito sa Bahol. Talagang sino bang magkakala? Now, minus Maui Wilan. Tapos talo pa sila in the previous meeting that Negros would come out this strong. In the face of adversity, sometimes you just really have to go over and transcend your present game. And that's what the Negros Slashers did in this ball game. They will have the honor of, you know, boasting oh, yes. that they have beaten or they have stopped the streak of the Manila Metro Stars at 22. So, oh, pagagawa pa akong banner. Kami, ang kumigil. It's the Manila Metro star. <laughs> oh boy, a 22 point margin for the Negro Slashers. Okay, na nanaginip, hindi po. Totoo po to. Lamang na lamang Negros. We'll be back. It's on. Welcome back to Baholo, kung saan lamang na lamang ang Negro Slashers 178. We're just counting the seconds away. Manila, yung kanilang 22-game winning streak, matatapos na. There's a foul given up by Chucho Serrano. You know, Miko, I'd just like to mention that no matter what happens, when you're on top, you're bound to lose, and it looks like this is the day where it, uh, Manila Metro Stars will finally lose after winning 22 straight games. You just saw a DHL assist 
NHL every second counts. And then, uh, when you're on top, everybody's just trying to pull you down. And apparently, Negros has succeeded in pulling the Manila Metro Stars back down to earth. Pero maari mas mabuti na ang nangyari to sa Manila Metro Stars ngayon. Yeah, yes, Rather yes. than pagdating ng playoff, they begin to spot her, katulad na nung nangyari last year. Oo, oh, oh, correct, correct. Kung saan ganda ng umpisa nila, biglang towards the end, they began to spot her, they did not enter into the finals, or the conference finals. What a ball game this young man had. Dean Labayan really stepping up in the absence of Bayo. Oh, he's the blur. Let's watch the blur. Oh, John Lim! Over to Lito Aguilar! Oh, he misses. Oh, the putback! <laughs> who got it? Who got it? I believe it's Leo Batog. Leo Batog with 12 points. De La Rosa, garbage points. Uh, that's what we're having now. And Batog will be fine. But you know what? We believe also Manila because actually I expected the letdown in the Cagayan de Oro game. We were down, we had much of seven points, and many were expecting Cagayan de Oro to pull up the upset. They survived. And then that Cebu game, you know, talagang some would say panalo na yun for Cebu but Manila survived you know yung sinasabi natin yung na-survive ng Manila Metro Stars it shows the character that they have being the league leaders it's just that now nahuli lang talaga sila ng Negro Slashes na off night oh yes off really off night you have them up and Compton shooting below 30% that is really ako masasabi ko even if they do not want to admit that fatigue might be beginning to set in let's face it mahirap pumunta sa South, makalaban yung mga Southern team, especially like Cebu, Orang Negro, especially pag ganyan, dito yung crowd oh, support. Yes. Jam Park University of St. LaSalle Gym going all out to support their uh, Negro Slashers. Alam mo kung may kita lamang natin yung mga mukha ng Manila Metro Stars uh, ngayon. Uh, ay, yung mukha ni Dorian Peña. Don't be sad, Dorian, kasi ikaw na nalo sa hard reflex field of the boards. 16 rebounds for Mr. Peña. Five offensive rebounds pa yan. Tapos na po ang 22-game winning streak ng Manila courtesy of the Negro Slashers. Negros wins by a comfortable margin, 103-78 before a jam-packed Negrense crowd. Oh, make that 103-81. Naka-3 points pa si uh, Jonathan Serrano yes, at the end of the game. Okay, we're about to introduce our... Uh, Caltech star player. Let's give a background to kung sino ito. Before the game, the fans were so concerned that wala si Maui Iguilar who was suspended no, by the commissioner's office. This guy had to step up, Daddy, and yes. he did step up. Not only that, he was concerned that he was lacking the confidence to shoot from the outside to score the points. All he wanted to do was to pass the ball around, but again, pagka napapasa ka ng bola, kailangan ka tumira. And we're talking about none other than Dean Labayan, who is our very, who is our very own Alex Santos. Yes, Miko, napakaganda ang binanggit natin kanina pa ito si Dean Labayan. And Dean Labayan, congratulations. You've been chosen as our Caltech star player of the game. You have 15 points. Now, Dean, how does it feel now at last you guys beat the Manila Metro Stars? Oh, it feels really good. I mean, they've only lost twice, right? So it's a really big accomplishment for, for our whole team. And I, I'd like to thank the fans for supporting the whole team, especially me. Okay, Dean, you've shown really superb performance and uh, you played differently in this particular game. What is in your mind and uh, what what else in your mind? Well, my first couple games, I, I was really passive with the way I played basketball and that's not really how I played. Um, I really knew that I needed to step up if I wanted to have a future in this league, but today, it, today I really felt like I played the way I really played. Yes, we all know that the Negro Slashers will have a big celebration today. Now, birthday of uh, John Perriols and also uh, your uh, assistant coach, Rolly Benaflor, and also Big Tan. It's my birthday today, so it's going to be a big celebration today. Yeah, I, and everybody else, the whole city comes and party. Okay, congratulations. Dean Labay and our Caltech star player. Sure, I love you. Off the game. I'll see you. Congratulations. Other brands... Oh. 
Alam niyo mga kaibigan, napasigaw tayo dun dahil that, you know, that hustle play from Batog really spelled the difference for Manila. It was a total team uh, win for the Negro Slashers. Everybody just chipping in the points. Give it to the Negro Slashers in this game. Hey, give it to this crowd too, ha? Ah. Tignan natin kagad yung ating KitKat winning break. This winning break is brought to you by KitKat. Have a break, have a KitKat. Well, we were talking about the search of the Negro Slashers. Patuloy pa rin ang ginagawa nila towards the last few seconds. And the effort of Leo Batog, all the cut and everything on it, above his left eye. You know, Negros had six players scoring in double figures, led by Dorian Peña with 23. And then Leo Batog with 12, together De La Rosa, Ferrios, Cardell, and of course, Dean Labayan, our um, best player. Okay, quickly, let's take a look at our Budweiser buddies. What the buddies uh, this afternoon for Manila. 14 for Compton, 11 only for Atubu who fouled out to start the fourth. Negros, 17 for De La Rosa, 18 for Ferriols. At hindi pa kasama dyan yung big game ni Team Labayan. That's true. At saka you're talking about how many positions na nilaro ng Negros slash year. So then they got in double figures in terms of point production. Manila, they were out-hustled, outscored <laughs> in this game. The winning streak at 22 has been stopped by a 22-point winning margin by the Negro Slashers over the Manila Metro Stars. And quickly, let's take a look at our scheduled uh, games for tomorrow. Sunday shootout, our first game, Cebu, visiting San Juan, dyan po sa Pasig Sports Center. And then, mabiyahe tayo to Antique, my friend. Pampanga going up against Iloilo, dyan po sa San Jose, Antique. Okay, iwanan natin lahat ng mga masaya rito sa likod natin kasi mabiyahe tayo to Antique. Ngayon, doon po sa mga lalabas dahil Sabado nung gabing yun. Take care. Have fun. Makita kita tayo bukas para sa NBA. For Alex Santos, Pia Gonzalez, Danny Francisco. And for the ABA, NBA, ABS-CBN, Visayas crew, good night. We'll see you again tomorrow.